scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature Listen that Christ me. wants you to attain. Thank I you. I am absolutely convinced, hear me, that every one of us here represents a sphere of influence. Every one of us here represents a jurisdiction of dominion. And so this is a summit, it's, it's a convergence of kings, it's a convergence of ambassadors. So as you travel, you travel for your sphere of influence. As you pray, you pray for they that are tied to your grace. Don't see yourself as a single entity. For when they looked at the womb of Rebecca, they saw that they were two nations. Not just twins, two nations. We each represent territories, dimensions of spiritual operation that the nations will benefit from. And so when you cry, you cry on behalf of a territory. When you travel, you travel on behalf of a family, on behalf of a community. Lord, we love you. We love you. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Honestly, let me tell you something. We're not ready for what God has in store for us this year. We think we are, but I don't think we're ready. Because God is going to move this year in most dramatic proportions. You will see ordinary men turn into things that will make you wonder. And this is not some spiritual things. Physically, you will see men that will walk like gods in this city, across this nation. All God is asking is, do you believe? Do you believe? He said, blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance of those things that have been spoken. Unto her. Lord, we believe. Let the rain fall without restriction. We empty ourselves and we empty our vessels. Hallelujah. We ask you to help us tonight. Spirit of the living God, we submit to you. Unveil the mysteries of the kingdom. Teach us truths that are older than us. Teach us what made the ancient powerful. Open us up to ancient vistas in the spirit. Show us realities that predate our dispensation. Grant us access to abilities and dimensions in the spirit. Show us the ancient path. Oh, that we will step into the Sabbath. Grant us grace. For there is a longing in our spirit. There is a longing upon our generation to experience 
a fresh dimension of the reality of the spirit and we trust you to bring us into this reality in the name of jesus christ praise the lord god bless you please be seated you're welcome just sit quietly pick up your writing materials there is a lot to do tonight please no let no seats be vacant there are so many people if we can get some of the people to occupy the seats some of them are the extreme overflows if they can come and at least stand inside there are people under the anointing ushers i know that you it's a season of the rain we will step into realities this year. We will step into strange dimensions of grace. And the Lord will grant it so in the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into levels of realities that will change your physical form. Your physical form that will alter you. When Moses stood in the glory, he did not know that he was being changed. After 40 days, he stepped out and his skin, his flesh, his physical flesh. It's, it's not just about using cream and all of that. There is a level of glory. I'm telling you, I want you to believe this. God is not playing games with us. If we mean business with him, he says, who has believed our report? Who has believed? You will see mountains melt as if they never existed. That's what happens when the glory of the Lord comes. You will see God turn around situations. He said, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I want every meeting that we come for all through this year, you must be very intentional about it. You must be very definite about it. Hallelujah. You can greet and play around after the service. But the moment you step into this building, before the meeting starts, I want you to know that you are standing upon Mount Zion. And anything, just anything can happen. Hallelujah. That's what God wants to do. Let it cover all the earth. Oh, that's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. That's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. Let the rain of His Spirit cover us. Let it cover all the I wrote this song years ago from my spirit. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. with your glory even tonight and bless our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord the reality of spiritual laws the reality of spiritual laws the reality of spiritual laws what we'll be learning tonight will be so powerful so powerful my goal for us this year is that we will become so powerful men and women of extreme spiritual power and it will happen as we are shown the keys of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom listen let me tell you something for years for years there has been a cry in my spirit. Somehow, there is a testimony in my spirit 
that our generation has lost touch with ancient realities you hear me use that word again and again people move forward but something in my spirit keeps drawing me back and it says if you can go back enough you will find something we lost hallelujah i've been intrigued every time i read things in scripture and it talks about ancient things there is something that the ancient knew it's not supposed to be so difficult we have lost touch with the dimension of reality carnality flesh intercourse with babylon cut short a flow of spiritual reality and the lord told me something last year he said mantles do not leave the earth to heaven that means every dimension of grace that has ever been displaced in the earth there are archived in certain dimensions here in the earth realm and if we can trust the ministry of the holy spirit he will navigate us to those parts and we will collide with these ancient mantles and we will do strange things upon the surface of this earth you believe that and this is our journey show us great things oh god the reality of spiritual laws aside from revealing the person and the minister of the holy spirit to the body of christ one of the cardinal areas of my call is to teach the body of christ the principles of the kingdom to unveil to the body of christ that dominion is a resultant effect of the knowledge and the comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom a mystery is a hidden truth that requires the agency of the spirit or another spirit that is not of this realm to open an individual to the reality it's called a mystery mysteries the occultic realm operate on the strength of mysteries coded operations that are shrouded in mysteries science cannot explain it it takes your fraternity with another spirit to open you up to those dimensions and so he said it has been given unto you to know the word know there is the word a man and a man knowing his wife it has been given to you to come into a union with the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah if we ever will attain to that stature of spiritual authority where we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom then i want you to know that it will never just be by impartation it will never just be by stories it will stand upon the strength of something that we know what did job know that turned his financial predicament in a moment the Bible did not tell us what business he did. The Bible just said Job prayed for his friends. Mysteriously, people started coming from everywhere. Brothers and sisters, are there portals we have lost in the spirit? Have we not lost touch with certain dimensions of spiritual reality? Hallelujah. The prophet said, bring me a mystery. Who taught him? Who lectured him? How did he know? He said, I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart. My heart is indicting a good matter. He said, yea, I speak of excellent things. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Who taught this man? Who taught the psalmist that praise was a garment that a man can wear? He called it a garment. Not an attitude of praise. A garment of praise. Every time they praise God in the place of war, I notice they use a coded language. All they said was, for he is good and his mercy endures. It was not any kind of praise. There was a time. It was like a spiritual code. Every time they began to say, for he is good and his mercy endures, he rose as a man of war. Meaning not every word invokes every dimension. There is a kind of language that makes God to operate in a certain way. Are you learning something? Help us, oh God. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters, 
part of my resolutions this year is that I will open us up to deep things. Some of us will be afraid of some of the things we'll be learning. I've been praying and saying, Lord, prepare your people. Because it will rattle the, the foundation of what you know to be Christianity. And you will know that many preachers have lied to us. Hallelujah. So let's prepare our hearts. Because this thing is not the exclusive reserve of one man. It has nothing to do with the boasting of a preacher. Let me tell you something. The hallmark of an apostolic ministry, I will keep saying it till we understand, is not just miracles and signs and wonders and manifestations of the Holy Ghost. There is a dimension of that, right? But the hallmark of the true apostolic ministry is the ability to receive the revelation that is meant for a dispensation to understand it and communicate it accurately to the people of God because the apostolic ministry is dispensational are you following me now and the knowledge of God is also dispensational meaning there is a curriculum there is a scope of understanding that God expects a dispensation to know are you following me now so that what we call eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations every dispensation coming with a revelation of god and adding that revelation to another dispensation are you following me now and that means that our dispensation has certain dimensions of god that we must know and we must touch but it takes the apostolic and the prophetic ministry not just to do signs and wonders and to lay hands and heal the sick that is important but to be able to sustain a posture in the spirit such that we can receive these spiritual realities, understand them and interpret them to God's people. And then they will be able to walk in this path and you will see certain possibilities in our lives. Hallelujah. And this is what we aim to do in this place. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. The reality of spiritual laws. Science has taught us that there are laws that govern this earth realm. They teach us in physics and, and chemistry and other aspects of science that there are laws. And scientists have been able to come into the recognition of certain physical laws. And they have been able to account for the explanation of certain tragedies that have happened to men. Hallelujah. Over time, scientists began to inquire as to why men will encounter certain inexplainable tragedies. And they later discovered that there were laws that were being violated unconsciously. That you do not recognize that there is a law does not mean it's not there. Are you following me now? Praise the Lord. If a child does not know there is gravity and he jumps on a, a, an altitude like this, the child will fall. Gravity will not say, I excuse you. Is that true? There are many other laws. Now, I want you to know that the same way spiritual laws govern this physical, physical law, sorry, govern this realm. There are spiritual laws that govern the operation of the spirit. Hallelujah. You are able to work very well when you can master the laws physically. None of us will find ourselves walking against gravity, for instance. And if by any means you are to walk against gravity, you know what to do to be able to remedy the, the imbalance that you are creating. And so you do not find yourself fighting the laws of nature. Gravity, for instance. Friction, for instance. All of these are laws. I want you to know that there are spiritual laws. Say spiritual laws many people have been able to find these laws and walk with these principles and they have been able to do mind-bogging things in the earth realm and as we explore this reality my goal tonight is not so much to share what the laws are as it is to bring us into a recognition that as scattered as spiritual things look as scattered as the earth is there is a rhythm are you getting my point? 
there is an exact synergy there is a sequence there is an equation of the happening of things they are not as haphazard as we think there is a level of order and accuracy god designed the earth it is our inaccurate understanding or total ignorance to his principles that has resulted to certain levels of setbacks and limitations in our lives and in this year of the rain god wants to open us up to a recognition of certain principles and you will find out that what has grounded you for years you will work cheaply you will now find out that the the enemy that many of us has been have been talking about they are not necessarily the demons out there our ignorance our lack of understanding the laws of god say amen the key to kingdom dominion please write this down the key to dominion the key to influence the key to power the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom i'll repeat it again please make sure you are writing something or at least jotting something on your notepad or so on the phone or so the key to kingdom dominion the key to influence influence is the capacity to alter people's mindsets the key to power the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom there are ancient laws encapsulated in this bible there are laws that are older than us. There are laws that predate our dispensation. They have been responsible for the rise and the fall of kings. They have been responsible for the rise and fall of champions. And when we find peace with these laws, we will do big things for the kingdom. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words sing. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let personalize it say i have come with an open heart i have come with open heart oh let me ancient word daniel chapter 19 let's begin our journey so that we can pray we have come we have come oh let Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 22. Mandi blakoshi prahata kosi baladaba. The story of a cruel king who slept and had a dream, forgot the dream and forgot the interpretation, and was mounting pressure upon all his wise men and cabinets. And Daniel said, give us time. And the Bible says he asked for wisdom. And in the night, can we read together verse 19? One to read. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Verse 20. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. 
for wisdom and might are his 21 he, he changed the times and seasons he removed kings and set up kings he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding he revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. He said, Then was the secret revealed. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, secrets can be revealed. Not everything is known by every Christian. Are you hearing me? The Bible says the secret things of the Lord are not just with Christians, they are with them that fear him, and he will reveal his covenants, he will show them his covenants there are mysteries in our world there are secrets that have been archived in the bowels of the spirit and it takes men who can press to say lord open my eyes show me the secrets that's why all things are not possible for everybody is that true kentucky fried chicken one of the great eateries around um they have a secret recipe that till today has not been revealed. Is that true? That secret recipe is what makes them unique. Coca-Cola, till today, they have not revealed the exact formula and combination. Great men dwell upon the strength of secrets. In ancient time, it was a taboo to reveal the deepest of secrets they were known only by the king and his envoys those we call knights or apostles they were the highest representatives of the king they knew where treasures were hidden in castles they knew secret places of escape in chambers when when they came to defeat a nation they knew how to to invoke the powers of those territories to fight on their behalf it was an access that was given to them and so as his ambassadors god wants to show us he doesn't want to hide anything from us he said come let us reason together i want to show you how i operate the heavens so that you can draw from this and do wonders in the earth if you believe that say amen so spiritual laws are real the spirit realm is a real realm of existence just like the physical realm it is only a lot more superior to this realm this realm is bounded by many things there are limitations for instance this realm is purely three-dimensional but in the realm of the spirit there are many dimensions a lot of people have preached that there are four dimensions five i don't believe that i believe that there are infinite dimensions in the realm of the spirit because the possibilities in the spirit are defined by what dimension you can function hallelujah praise the lord and so i want us to know that the spirit realm is real the spirit realm is real and there is a constant interaction between the spirit realm and this realm every single one of us under the sound of my voice and those following us online every single one under the sound of my voice interacts with the spirit realm every time whether you recognize it or not the condition to to interact with the spirit realm is just to be alive remember i began the teaching last week showing us the five elements right the elements of creation we drink water is that true we breathe air why don't we breathe dust we breathe air to live air that seems to be immaterial but we breathe it in our material body to keep us alive so our biological composition is is a is a, a, a an intertwining of both this realm and the realm of the spirit prosperity is an intertwining of the spirit realm and this realm success in life is an intertwining of the realm of the spirit and this realm the anointing the ability 
see, and the agency of the spirit, when a man stands and you look at somebody with cancer and stretch your physical hand, you may not even make contact with the person and the person starts shaking or the person falls. It tells you that there is something more than what your eyes see. There is an interaction. Is that true? Watch this. I'm speaking to you. There is no, di there is no digital connection between my mouth and your heart. But what I am saying is passing through your ears and it has the ability to influence your paradigm because they are spirit and life. Hallelujah. So we must, we must rise to this reality that all we see in our world, brothers and sisters, is not all there is. Praise the Lord. All we see is not all there is. There is more. Say there is more. In this building right now, inside and outside, there are more angels than this crowd gathered here. And many of them are doing many things as I teach right now. Some are imparting graces and all of these things, right? Working in partnership with the Spirit. And they are not only angels, there are also the spirits of just men made perfect. Testifying. Like the witnesses that stood with Jesus at the Mount of Transfiguration. Elijah and Moses. Representing the law and the prophet. They are not the only witnesses. There are many others. Enoch, for instance. Right? Many other people. So the Bible says, Ye are come unto Mount Zion. And it begins to tell us all the things that happen in that place. Listen, the earlier you realize that life is entirely spiritual, that the physical manifestation is only a little portion. Hallelujah. Occultists understand this. Politicians understand this. Is that true? I was, I was studying the world religion. I will give you a few statistics as we progress. Very shocking. I didn't know there was that much religion in the whole world. I thought there were just maybe 100 or 1,000. I will tell you the figure shortly. <laughs> and all these religions have followers. Ardent, committed, die-hard followers. Meaning the spirit of man is searching for something. Searching for a connection with its source. Somehow, mankind knows that until you interact with this, the spirit realm, there is no stability to your person. There is a longing. So we pray to a deity we call different names for many religions. And we hope that somebody out there of a higher consciousness is listening to us. There are spiritual laws. The same way I can violate gravity and violate other laws and reap the consequences of my disobedience or ignorance. That is the same way I can stumble into a spiritual law I do not know and activate its operation unconsciously and suddenly begin to see certain things manifest physically. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then on the other hand, I can deactivate the operation of a spiritual law without knowing and begin to receive a ripple effect in the physical. Are you following me now? So it seems to me like the journey of many Christians is, is, is a blind dashing into spiritual laws. We are not exactly sure. Sometimes we touch something that activates prosperity. And ha has that happened to you? For weeks you find out that favor is coming. Everything is happening. And then it's like something happens. And it's short. There are times that you find out that everything you say in prayer comes to pass. And then other times you pray and it's as if you are talking to yourself. Hallelujah. There are times you suddenly step into a dimension and seasons and you are having dreams every night. And everything you see is coming to pass. And then certain times. What is responsible for this opening and closing of the gates of the spirit? This is what I want to teach you. The reality of spiritual 
even for preachers there are times you stand to preach and you sense an unusual open heavens you are just ministering and my goodness scriptures that you you read years ago that you cannot even quote normally suddenly come to your mind and you are quoting them verbatim and other times it looks like you stand and you are wondering i hope i'm not messing up listen if you get what i'm teaching you you will keep certain portals of the spirit open perpetually hallelujah certain people have touched this realm in different forms hallelujah now watch this the fundamental principle i want us to understand as we explore this very sensitive teaching because what i'm going to be saying will rattle many of us hallelujah some of the things that i'm going to be saying will challenge us but i want you to follow me the fundamental principle i want you to have at the back of your mind is that everything created belongs to god you will see the advantage of this statement as we progress everything created belongs to god secondly all power belongs to god hallelujah all power psalm 62 verse 11 please quickly psalm 62 verse 11 it says once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power everybody shout all power all power you went to school what is your understanding of all power meaning if there is any performance that ever occurs any manifestation of the supernatural in the earth to any degree was either a release or a corruption of power that came from god please follow me god has spoken once twice i have heard this that power belongs to god look up please when a magician takes a white handkerchief please follow me tonight and waves it and brings out a dove out of it what happened what happened hallelujah when a magician slices himself into half and holds the remaining half of him and is walking and bastardizes your knowledge of physics and biology what exactly is happening listen to me he said once have i spoken twice in other words i emphasize it as a witness that all power belongs to god that means the central force in the realm of the spirit is not astrology it's not the constellation the seat of power in the spirit is God himself. Just follow me. Every religion is the hybrid of a man's pursuit to uncover and look for this mystery entity that we call God. And over time, what has happened is, listen, fallen angels, you know, I spoke to you about the pre-Adamite dispensation. We spoke a bit about that, right? realities that predate genesis 1 you find that in job 38 right the creation we spoke a bit now last year this year the creation of angels and all of these things right now watch this let me show you a few mysteries in the bible have you read in your bible that stars fought for a woman called deborah question was she a non-believer <laughs> have you had that thing that stars fought for deborah have you had people mention statements like you were born with 10 stars? Eh? Whether you believe it or not, just follow me. I'm not teaching you Scientology. I'm provoking you to be mature. Just listen to me. Are you following me now? Many of us come from different cultural backgrounds where at one point or the other they have brought somebody to your house. Hello? Baba? mama whatever they shall brought somebody to your house and he was able to do certain things whether he used cola or not whether he used whatever and he began to unveil certain things either reveal the person that stole is that true stole money or meat or lied is that true and then he began to reveal some things 
How many of you have seen people who are not born again? They have never given their life to Christ. Yet they have functioned in what you know to be word of knowledge. Is that true? In certain tribes, they call them those whose head has opened. Is that true? People who can see beyond certain things. Listen. God has spoken once. Let it be known to you. That when it comes to the realm of the spirit, there are not many forces. There is one force. Everything revolves around him. His name is God Almighty. Whether we accept to call him God Almighty or not. Are you getting my point now? Hmm. So how come Satan can manipulate power? How come traditional rulers can manipulate power? Please follow me. How come a man can look at this lady and say, look, um, you will not give birth. Case closed. He didn't ask her whether she had faith or not. He just spoke on the strength of something he has been taught. Is that true? How come people read magical books? Huh? All kinds of books. They tell them, recite this. And the moment they recite it, things start happening. Brothers and sisters, am I telling a lie or? Pastors have been afraid of confronting this issue. Because if we don't, many of us will not know when we have entered witchcraft. If all power belongs to God, then whose power are witches using? Follow me. If all power belongs to God, then the religions that can turn... There, there, there's the video of a young guy that walked upon water. Physically, he walked upon it. Huh? He walked upon a building sideways and came down. No pastor has done that, at least. I only know one bold pastor who decided his, it was Prophet Daniel, the one that lions tore him into pieces in the Badan. That's the closest thing that I know. But the Bible says, once have I spoken, twice, that all... So, is it that God gave it to these demons? No, think about it. Go to Zaria city and meet somebody and say i want a husband what's that thing that they carry love portion wealth portion all kinds of of things they give you and one young man is just moving and they blow something towards him he becomes absolutely confused right and starts pursuing a lady helplessly until she does whatever she wants to do with him now think about that if the bible is telling the truth that all power belongs to god i have a question by the way, it will interest you to know that there are 4,200 religions as of today in the world. How many? 4,200 registered all the 4,200 religions. Where did they get their power from? Satan does not create anything. Is that clear? Do we all agree? Question. Was God sleeping? Did they steal some of the power without his seeing? What is the mystery behind the seeming strengthening of wicked forces? Some of you have dreams and you see all kinds of spirits appear to you. You are trying to call Jesus, they shut your mouth with all your knowing of Jesus. Jesus, and they stand and they laugh. Question, who empowered them? If Satan was created, <laughs> are you prepared for this year of the rain? We are going to talk, we are, we are going as deep as God will help us go. Because we must answer some questions. Let me tell you, when you answer these questions, you will, you, you will start laughing at what used to make you cry. Because when you see it, you know that, ah, uh ah, -uh, this is the one plus one. This is what made it happen. And I told you that every time you catch a light, what happens in the spirit? Grace is given to you to walk in that reality. So you can see five people struggling over a demon. Go out, go out, and you will only pass. No prayer. Light. The spirits know what they are seeing. You see that? Because the strength of evil is darkness. The Bible calls them rulers of darkness, not rulers of light. Whenever there is darkness, they are authorized to rule. All religions of the world 
claim to connect people to wealth, to joy, to happiness, to life, to peace, and to God, or some kind of higher cosmic power for assistance. That's the whole bit behind every world religion. Is that not true? If somebody comes to take you now and says, Mary Ann, I want you to be part of the Confucius religion. You think you will just come? Won't I promise you something? I'll promise you wealth and happiness. I'll promise you that whatever you want, speak certain things and it will happen. Right? If Marianne speaks it and it happens, she will invite Shei and say, Shei, it's easier than that other thing you are doing. Shei will first say, I don't believe it. When life presses her to the wall, she will adopt it. The strength of this religion is that the suffering of mankind is endless. And so eventually, people will search for solution anyhow. Are you getting me? By the way, many of these religions have their branches in Africa. You would think that our suffering or our, our backwardness in technology will make us say, what is all this? Find out how many Africans do. They are not Christians, they are not Muslims, they are not Hindus, right? They are something else. And they have followers. There is an acclaimed personality in this nation. I, I told you that I've repented from mentioning names. Acclaimed personality who I think for 48 years or thereabout. I don't know if it was him or, or his brother or somebody who never came out. Never came out for about 48 years. Look, even if you are sitting down for 48 years, how else somehow... The devil must come upon you. He must land upon your life and interact with you. Sacrifices that men have made. Now the question is, brothers and sisters, if God is good and God is great and he does not eschew evil, what would be the explanation to the seeming empowerment Preachers have thought that the power you have, the power Satan has is your power or he collected it. How did he collect it? Collect it back. The question, how did he collect it? You know, we generalize things that we owe people. Demon is working with something that is solid and provable. Hallelujah. You prayed about something. The answer did not come. Your brother said, come, let's go and visit somebody. They visited the person in two days. The answer came. Is that true? It's true you gave thanksgiving in church, but we really know where that answer came from. Is that true? A woman cries to God, comes to we preachers, and we prophesy in the name of Jesus. I command that cancer to go. Nothing went. Is that true? They just respect us and they won't publish anything on the newspaper. And they quietly go and meet another person. And they invoke things and they have the baby and women of God come and claim the glory. It's better let's sit down and ask ourselves the truth. And answer these questions. Or keep telling lies. There are many people telling lies in church. Many of the miracles people claim to get in church. I am telling you. They got it outside the church. They consulted a lot of powers. There are families today who will never give their children in marriage until they go and ask certain people. And they confirm, is that true? Whether, whether you're a pastor, whatever you believe, keep your westernization. They will go and consult. Even if it means them buying goat, ram, sheep, human being, they will consult. Is that true? What then is this mystery? There are five religions, major religions, out of the 4,200. The first is Hinduism. The second is Buddhism. The third is Islam. The fourth is Christianity. And the fifth is New Age. There's no time and it's not within the scope of the teaching to tell you what these individual sects, if I will call them, believe. There are others who believe, like the Hindus, for instance. Hindus believe there is one great God, but he expresses himself in many ways. Meaning there are many ways to approach him. Right? 
so they can have many kinds of deities or envoys that help you communicate to this god and they believe in several doctrines of reincarnation buddhism many people think buddhism worship buddha no they just feel that buddha is the person who has been able to attain that highest level of consciousness as they call it and so they model after his life same with all the other religions new age is the recent teachings that was perpetrated by the kingdom of darkness under new age you are god it's a it's a little stealing away from the bible all these religions there's no time i would have proven to you that they all have their origin from the bible that's why they can prove to any christians that's why christians are the most vulnerable is that true they take bible and show you what supports their belief and you say wow this thing is in the bible meaning god must support it there comes that theory that all roads still lead to the same god have you heard those those devilish teachings and so people tell you don't worry when you go to the harbor list you say look don't be scared with all this color not i'm doing it's still the same thing it's just different ways of invoking the same god and then he invokes the color not and he says psalms 1 verse 3 i say ah psalms Abba. i know psalms go ahead right to now justify that because psalms 1 was mentioned god is in it is that true what deceit all power belongs to god now watch this i want you to know this the fallen angels hallelujah those we call the fallen angels i've taught us but i'll repeat it again just for the sake of establishing a few things the fallen angels when they came to the earth please listen to me they interacted with men and part of that interaction was responsible for supplying certain deep informations don't forget that they were all in heaven right certain laws are god's own laws and they are made to happen how many of you go to the farm and pray and fast for crops to grow please tell the truth after you sow you go back and say oh god no once you sow it to the earth you go back a man can kill another man and steal his land and sow and still reap a bumper harvest because of the existence of physical laws so it is god has put spiritual laws are you getting my point now for spiritual laws to work please come i'm establishing something come sir for spiritual laws to work in the spirit a spirit must assist you in activating its operation are you getting the rules for any spiritual law at all to work there must be a spirit entity that will assist you it is in partnership with a spirit before any spiritual law can be activated so if i am a magician and i'm doing a lot of abracadabra for instance there must have been a spirit that was invoked appeased or a demand is placed upon him is that true now let's explain our traditional festivals what happened what is the whole goal of many traditional festivals they first appease certain spirits either with people who must die or sacrifices and when those spirits are appeased the mediums that interface between the realm of the spirit and the physical realm let the people know that ah this goat the spirit has, has eaten it although you are seeing a physical good the priest ends up eating the flesh physically uh, uh, the honorarium the, the, everything goes to the priest but i'm saying that the whole goal is that the sacrifice has been received is that true that's what happens no man by his strength can activate spiritual laws are you getting my point there must be the assistance of a spirit watch this i want to shock you now the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws just follow me the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws the spirits of dead men 
can activate spiritual laws. Ancestral spirits can activate spiritual laws. Demons and spiritual wickedness that operate in the heavenlies on the strength of the fact that they are spiritual entities, they can guide men to activate spiritual laws. Watch this. So there is a universal law in the spirit. For anything to be of God and to carry, to carry God's signature, there is only one spirit that validates. Are you getting my point? The Holy Spirit is the only spirit authorized. The most holy spirit of God. The only one authorized to activate any spiritual law such that God becomes involved and the glory goes to God. Are you getting my point? That means, watch this. It is possible that I can use magic power and look at Sam and do a miracle, a real miracle. It happens, but it did not happen by the Spirit of God. But because it is a manipulation of a spiritual law, it will happen accurately. Are you getting what I'm saying? That means I can give a woman a child, but not by the Spirit of God. Is that true? I can use the advantage of my partnership with another spirit and remove cancer from her stomach and put back another spirit. That means I can receive word of knowledge from a spirit. Accurate word of knowledge, but not from God. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? When you understand this, listen to me. You will hold the Holy Spirit as a matter of life and death. Are you getting my point? Now, the problem with many men of God is when they started their journey, they started with the Holy Spirit. But they allowed their passion to make them leave the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Ghost said, wait, I'm schooling you in this area. They said, I'm in a hurry. I must enter prophecy. I must enter this Holy Ghost. You can go. And another Holy Spirit, another spirit, really not holy. Another spirit continued the journey. Are you getting the point? And because... They seem to have been progressing in spiritual things. That spirit of deception made them feel that is the continuation of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So although in them, they feel something is wrong, there is, there is a mixing. Many men of God in this country around that we call fake are not fake. Even those who do magic. Most of what has happened is a perversion. Are you getting me? They went under certain people, certain hands were laid in them, and certain demonic forces were invoked to begin to work with them. And it activated certain possibilities, and they started gaining knowledge on certain laws. Is God helping us? Or are you afraid of the teaching? You will be changed, His glory will be revealed. When the Spirit takes over your soul, you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. I know you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. For you are being changed. His glory is being revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. Listen, when you hear us talk a lot about the Holy Spirit and emphasize Him, it is because there are other spirits already. And if you do not embrace the Spirit of God, you will meet with another one eventually. The day you need a job, you will meet with one. Hear me, look up. You never go to a herbalist and return the same way you came. Did you hear what I said? You never, impossible, every man communicates to you out of the strength of the spirit that assists him if you come to me for help and i'm a magician and you are watching me do the magic you finish and say nice man you think you just left 
but you did not live alone automatically that's why you will return again someone makes you return the people inside and outside both those who wanted to come or did not come the spirit of the living god drew you is that true when you understand this brothers and sisters you will not be impressed just by everything that happens physically you will seek to know what is the motivation and the spirit behind the operation many of us are are very once you see supernatural things you are happy it doesn't matter whether it came from the pit of hell or wherever you are just happy right and right now we live in a generation where many people want to enter prophecy young people want to enter prophecy and 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 they want to enter world of knowledge they want to enter dimensions now nothing is wrong with that it's because of the revival that is coming but satan is already preparing a major deception because he has seen it that's one of the reasons why i'm teaching this there is a major arsenal of deception that the devil wants to release to the nigerian church where there will be an outburst of a seeming outpouring but it's not the outpouring of the holy ghost and you will see men move in charismatic dimensions you will see people do things like angels right almost no limits to their impossibilities and even they themselves would not know that they are being deceived are you seeing why the book of revelations and the rest prays that even the elect can be deceived I have prayed for many people in meetings anointed people ministers of the gospel and as i minister to them i may never get to tell them but they may think what they are receiving in that meeting was impartation what they were receiving was first deliverance from a strange spirit acts chapter 16 don't turn there remember a lady who had the spirit of divination is that true did she give people word of knowledge please answer me and the bible says when some businessmen found her they said you are exactly what you are looking for and they started using her you pay money to prophesy you think if the people were not getting results they will come back they were getting results she will say this will happen and it will happen and when paul i like paul so two spirits paul had a word of knowledge her too she had her own word of knowledge two spirits right and paul looks at her and she begins to say these are great men of god you know what she was looking for she was looking for partnership because human beings cannot discern the difference so that she knew that paul was only visiting the city so let's be friends so that when you leave the city they will say ah, ah if paul is not here i am here pastors hear me you must be careful in this day and age the kinds of meeting and ministerial associations you join yourself with there are many of us they invite you everywhere to preach with everybody and your answer is yes sir you think you are saving sinners you will enter the midst of devils without knowing and they will corrupt the authenticity of the grace of god upon your life are you getting what i'm saying it will be a three-day meeting you will be the one to start first you will start and there will be mighty signs and wonders when you finish devils will come and hug you and you will snap together and then the next day people will come and they will say just like the servant of god ministered yesterday we are continuing and people will catch strange spirit there are meetings people have gone to the moment they left the meeting lost came upon their lives and they started looking for ladies uncontrollably they fell under the anointing they rolled around and prayed in tongues and the brother got up with miracle power and love for girls confusion how can i be moving so much in the anointing right or somebody gets up and just begins to steal the reality of spiritual laws we constantly interact with this law watch this spiritual laws are very powerful because they are not only creative they can change realities in this physical realm are you following my teaching now that is the reason why a magician can hold a handkerchief and say sam hold it they say roll it and sam will roll it and sam will bring out a foul how does handkerchief change to a foul 
right what they simply did was to take advantage of the laws of creation and manipulate it are you getting my point and what is the goal the goal is to convince you to come into partnership with the spirit that is assisting them the spirit that is assisting them is not assisting them for nothing i hope you know that when jesus was on the earth he was not the only one doing miracles i hope you know remember there was a certain time the disciples were angry and they were complaining that there are some people that are doing miracles somewhere jesus you are the happening man where did this and we are your other people so if it's not you it should be us where are these strangers coming from again and jesus made a very controversial statement he said whoever is not what against us is for us ah. spiritual lovers so deborah could look at the stars and say stars I understand what you represent to the inhabitants of the earth align yourself in a way that the powers that the men use for war will not work and the Bible says the stars fought for Deborah with the permission of God Joshua my namesake in the Bible what happened to him he looked at the Sun and said if this Sun goes down they are going to kill our people because of that Sun stand still right Daniel went to bed and the secret was revealed and he said oh king I know what you saw you saw a being an image stand with the head of gold the breastplate of silver and you saw clay mixed with metal at his feet and he began to describe the fall of different empires the Christian Empire the Babylonian Empire and down to the new age that attempts to communicate towards virtual reality that's the last empire the feet that is a mixture of clay and iron one side the government is soft on another side the government is hard it's a mystery he saw it described brothers and sisters listen to me the the proof that god is in a thing is not just in the result but the spirit that initiates and sustains that process this is where i'm driving at the proof that a thing is of god the holy ghost must be both the initiator and the sustainer of that spiritual process otherwise it is fetish it is demonic it is from darkness even if it produces a real result i'm giving you the reason now is producing a real result because it was the manipulation of a physical law or a spiritual law and because of the advantage of the superiority of the realm of the spirit over the physical realm it will produce results watch this every spirit that initiates a process leaves a signature of itself upon that process are you hearing what i'm saying when julius baga builds what do they leave they build their their logo is that true if pw builds they leave everything meaning if satan gives a child he will leave his signature right if satan heals the sick he will leave his signature when you know this you will know the reason why many people do not experience complete deliverance or complete healing or many there are many reasons but the major reason is because satan comes to steal kill and to destroy so although he uses spiritual law there must be darkness in his operation so satan will give you a miracle that will create another problem right one miracle that creates another problem and you come to him he gives your family money and then gives another person the spirit of drunkenness when you come as drunkenness is being solved barrenness follows right there is a signature one law being activated and causes another one that's why it is the blessing of the lord that can make rich and the, there will be no sorrow there is always a signature of darkness 
that signs upon whatever comes from Satan. Please hear me tonight. Not every open door is anointed. The fact if you force a door in the spirit, it will open. Thank you, Jesus Christ. There are secular musicians that sing. And for those of us who used to listen to their songs or those who listen around as we pass by, when you hear their voices, you know that this voice is, it has a glory that is not physical. Are you getting me? Spiritual laws manipulated, but they must pledge allegiance to the spirit that assisted them. That's why you listen to the music and physically you receive the glory that looks like from heaven, but it does something to your spirit, man. Because those laws help Satan to continue his agenda in the earth. Is God speaking to us tonight? So number one, realize that there are spiritual laws. Number two, realize that no man can activate the operation of spiritual laws until assisted by a spirit entity. Number three, there are many spirits that can activate spiritual laws. Spirits of the dead. All kinds of fallen spirits. But God has only one spirit. That is permitted, authorized to search his heart and activate these laws according to his counsel for man. And the name of that spirit is the spirit of the living God. Is the Holy Ghost, spirit of the living God. Is the Holy Ghost. Number one, we have not allowed the spirit of God to teach us these operations of the spirit so that we can align ourselves with these laws of the spirit i may just touch on one of the law maybe two of the laws really we'll just touch on two of those spiritual laws and then we'll just end because i want us to pray hallelujah praise the lord laws of the spirit watch this this guy is playing this did you know that He's activating a law, a spiritual law. What he's playing is a language. Your senses don't understand, but your spirit understands it. That's why you want to sit down and keep listening to it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The melodies. You know why many people are addicted to secular music? Honestly, it's not just that they are bad people. It's that those melodies are languages. They draw your spirit. But because those who sing them have fraternized with certain spirits, they draw you and they induce the operation of certain strange spirits. So you hear him playing what he's playing. He's playing the strings and he's, he's doing something to your spirit man. If a heavily sits down and plays, you will keep enjoying and you will fall down, but not under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You will fall down and stand up and something will land on you. Are you getting that now? So it matters what spirit you sit under. It matters what spirit produces the result that you celebrate. It matters not just that results are being produced. Brothers and sisters, hear me. If we do not rise to understand the laws of the spirit, we who are the sons of light, I want you to know that many people will run to the devil and he will give them the result they want by operating spiritual laws and take their souls in exchange if we do not rise to contend for the power and the grace that will cause fruitfulness in the life of women they will go to babalawos every day we can be grumbling and be calling everybody fake and calling everybody <laughs> we have to be careful because some of us are the ones who are fake not just because we are going to have a list but we have refused to hold on to that which is real. See that? Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit must be the initiator and the sustainer of every spiritual knowledge we receive. This becomes our only guarantee to escape perversion. The Holy Spirit is the only guarantee that will escape perversion please let me surprise you and understand me you can take just this bible verbatim without the presence of the holy spirit you can still hold 
get into error. Are you getting me? You can still hold the Bible blindly and you will still get into error. There are many people who go to Habalis. I counsel a lot of people. And some people come and meet me and they or their children or wives have gone to Habalis. And they say they go to the Habalis and they see many books and they see Holy Bible. Holy Bible was produced by a publishing company. Some of the people who produce this thing are not even born again. Is that true? They are just doing business. Zondervan or whatever publishing company. But it is the presence of the spirit of the living God. Meaning a demon spirit can still come upon this and give it another interpretation. That's why every sect of the Christian faith uses this. But they got another interpretation by the interaction of strange spirits. Genesis 11. That's what happened to Nimrod Kush, the origin of witchcraft. Nimrod Kush, these fallen angels appear to him. In fact, before Genesis 11, the days of Noah... The Bible says strange aliens started coming upon the earth. Is that true? And they started sleeping with the daughters of men. Brothers and sisters, our ladies are smart people. Do you think an angel will just come with wings and horn and say, um, Marianne, I'm in love with you. Wouldn't you run? If you see a beast with tail, with horn, says, I'm, before he says, I'm in love, you will run away. These beings were not daft. They came and walked like men. I told you angels don't have wings. And there is no record of angels with wings in the Bible. Those who have wings are cherubims. In fact, angels appeared with people. They ate with people in the Bible. Is it not true? Angels ate with people in the Bible. When the angel appeared to Mary, she didn't say, I'm afraid. She wondered what the salutation, not the angel. Meaning they had been seeing them. When the angel appeared to Zechariah and all of these kinds of people, it is the seraphs that cover cartoon films have have created these things based on their interpretation and now we are not criticizing them but they have not helped us to understand the reality of spiritual things <laughs> hallelujah are we following now ah i sense the presence of god there are so many spiritual laws i want you to know that if I ask you what are the physical laws, you will name them. Sir Isaac Newton, in his study of mechanics, came up with several laws, right? There are, the, the, are fundamental laws, first, second, third law. There are all kinds of laws. Laws of thermodynamics, conservation of matter, physics and chemistry has all kinds of law. Newton's law of universal gravitation. There are all kinds of law. Chemistry, Le Chatelier's principle of equilibrium. All kinds, the Schrodinger equation. All of these things are men and women coming together in an attempt to explain laws. There are laws that guide our understanding into quantum physics. Right? When we do chemistry, qualitative analysis, and all of that, we try to use the colors or, or the things that emanate from solutions to be able to help us know what um, ion or whatever it is that is there. All of these are physical laws. In the same way, there are spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. Bless you, Sam. Sorry. Hallelujah. Let's touch on two of these laws, can we? I read an article. There is a powerful series on finance. When we are teaching that one, we will share it. But let me give you the preview. The anchor scripture to that, that series is, Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over there was a relationship between the anointing on his head and the running over of the cup thou anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over hallelujah now a wealthy man was once asked what the secret of his wealth was and i got to find out that all he said was he found an ancient manual right a manual that dates 2300 years ago written by a greek philosopher that manual they seem they said seem to contain some magic powers that even if you read just the title alone 
fortunes will begin to come to you. I know some of you with all this message will say, where is that manual? I can ask God for forgiveness. Where is that manual? <laughs> Repent, this is the year of the rain. Many of you have, have, have suffered. It doesn't matter what. Where is that? Some of you will go and browse it after this, this meeting. Is there an online version? Let me go come and read it and come for miracle service. Hallelujah. That means, you know what this Illuminati and secret societies and all these occultic organizations do? They are men and women who interacted with these spirit beings. And they reveal to them a lot of these spiritual laws. They reveal to them that this universe is not just sand. They reveal to them that air is not just air. Water is not just water. And they have excellently archived this principle through centuries. Right? Let me tell you. These were the very principles that kings used. Did you hear that in ancient times king had, kings had scrolls? And certain things were written. In fact, part of the writings were magic formulas that would open certain doors. You see them in some of the films that you watch. All these things were an aberration of spiritual laws. What does that tell you? That means truly all things are available for life and godliness. If we can allow the Holy Spirit to take the word of God and guide us, all things are really possible. Hallelujah. One of the most prominent business law among many business people is what they call the law of attraction. I, I, I don't believe it in that sense. And that law teaches that it is, it's, a, it's an extension of, of Newton's law of universal gravitation. That the earth is a living thing. Right? And it begins to say all kinds of things and it credits the power to modern nature. It makes it look like modern nature is supervising our, our, our activities. That's, that's demonic from the of hell the devil will never give credit to god and they have used it and made children brilliant in school they have used those laws how many of you have have have, have seen all these things they spoke about uh, they speak about hypnotism and all of this sort i know i'm stretching you tonight some of you are wondering who am i now am i a christian no, <laughs> listen i'm training you because one day many of you who want to go abroad you will go abroad and you will look for living faith and dunamis and redeem. You will not find anywhere. The only one you will find is a temple. A temple you must greet the priest to resume your work. And once you go there, they will look at you and when you will not bow, they will ask you questions. And you say, in Koinonia, I was taught ABC and they laughed. They say, really? You know, lack of exposure is what is making some of us comfortable with this our Christianity. Because we think the whole world is like Zaria. When you go out of this place and see the way people hate God, you will know you need more to stand. Is that true? That's why God refused you from going abroad. Because you would have you would have you would have converted two days, you would have you would have left God. By the time they bamboozle your mind and then they tell you, okay, just read this portion. And you read this portion and you go out and people start calling you from nigeria and sending you money so what is going on ah say let me read the other part that i didn't read again you think you won't do it hallelujah and the holy spirit has guided me through these spiritual laws a lot of them have been preached in the body of Christ. But even those who have preached them have not preached them with the level of revelation and gravity. They just preached them because one person had another man of God preach it. Hallelujah. Number one, my goodness. Pray in tongues for one minute. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Something is about to change in your life now. I've had several encounters through the word of God. I'm about to share with you. I've read it in books over the years. But when God began to open me up to it, it changed my life forever. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. Let's see how far God will help us. We have to stop somewhere to pray. What you are about to learn 
must change you. I'm telling you, you will be so changed, you will be surprised. Many of you will carry the presence of God. You will carry the glory of God. You will see breakthroughs happen in your life in ways that will surprise you. Everybody read, please. One, two, read. Just the first portion, the first clause, one to read. Listen, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, it didn't say so he will become, so he already is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he, so he. I learned and I have seen it. I taught the heads of department during our retreat a bit of it and the Lord has permitted me to share this now. That your life, listen to me, your environment and the quality of your life is a reflection of both your mindset and the sum total of your belief system. Listen to me. Your life, the quality of your life today the quality of your life, the quality of your environment, the quality of the works of your hands and the things that you do is a direct reflection of your ideologies, a direct re reflection of your perceptions about God, about life, about wealth, about whatever it is. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, that means your life will eventually open up and reveal to the physical what is in your heart. A powerful spiritual law that your life and your environment will eventually become a reflection of your reality. My goodness. My goodness. That means heaven is a revelation of God's mindset. Heaven is a reflection of the excellency of his thought. Earth is a reflection of the mindset of mankind. Selfishness. Watch this. I don't know if it was last week or so that, that I said it. I think I shared it during the retreat. Take a security man. Is that true? Take him to the office. Assuming you have a, a corporation with three story buildings the last story building belongs to the ceo take the security man to that story building leave him there for two weeks that office will start reflecting his mindset right immediately because when the man sits on that chair his mindset will refuse that reality first he will feel he does not qualify for it and then second, he will be afraid because he would think that after a while they will come and take it. So he will say, let me steal and loot. The first thing is he will remove whether, what did I say that day? Stabilizer. He will steal the stabilizer and run away and sell it. And say, how can you put a the big stabilizer, 10,000? I mean, the, the light is regulated from Nepa on or, or what, what they call him? Power holding company. Praise God. So he will steal it. The next time you will see a beautiful artwork and you will say, how much will they sell this one, please? They say, 20,000. I say, go and sell it. There are two. Sell one and leave one. Right? You give him a glass cup. He says, no. Package them together. Let's sell it. Buy me a rubber cup, please. I'm, I'm contented. His mindset is already playing out. He will step into the place dirty and won't clean it. Right? He will eat food and leave it there. He will lead that document. He will take any piece of paper and clean water with it, not knowing what the document is. At the end of two weeks, that office has reflected his ideology. That's why those who get who wants to be a millionaire, none of them ends up being a true millionaire after five years because what they, are, what they have gotten does not subscribe to the truth, the principles that brought it. You never become wealthy by receiving dash money i'm telling you this there are people who receive hundred thousand every month maybe from parents or well-wishers 
but the revelation they have about prosperity about god about money drives wealth away from them is that true are you getting me there are men of god whose churches you will never see miracles happen because there is a mindset about miracles they have that will never allow the holy spirit to bless people is that true they don't want to see anybody fall under the anointing they don't disturb us with noise we want order in this church and because of that although they are god fearing the holy spirit wants to do great things but their ideology so listen to me the only way to change your life is to change your mindset and your perception listen to me i was teaching the leaders and i taught them this i told them do you know why some ministries have the best of everything have you wondered why you see certain ministries the best keyboardists the best um, computer um, people the best sound people let me tell you why because the 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 mindset of that man right will bring to that ministry people who are consistent with his ideology there goes the same birds of the same feathers do what so the bible says this in proverbs chapter 4 now right 4 verse 23 he says guard your heart you see that with all diligence this is the bible he said keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are what the issues the quality of your life is locked up within your mindset i believe god for anything i believe god can take this ministry to any height hallelujah i do not ever believe that there can be limitations in the work of god that's my mindset right that's why you see members of living faith for instance they are men of faith because they are a reflection of the conviction of the founder being a man of rugged faith it's in living faith you hear that a man died and they carried him and rubbed oil from his head to his toe till he came back and they come to testify do you have the gods to do that kind of thing it's in living faith you hear that a man died and for three days his wife was with the man on the bed and said you are still my husband you are alive and after three days he comes back to life he did not need to necessarily change them he first changed himself listen if you are not changed your words will not carry power your words only reflect the authority based on the change that has occurred in you that's why see let me tell you if Creflo Dollar or any of these people who are really well, they come right now and teach you on prosperity, some of you will be crying and you hate poverty forever. Not necessarily because what they are sharing is deep. They are communicating their reality. If Sam comes and holds the mic and begins to worship, what he is reflecting to you is an overflow of his reality. The deposit of the anointing within him. Are you hearing what i'm saying that's why you can listen to another musician and nod your head and frank edwards for instance can sit on his keyboard and play the same song and you are crying brothers and sisters leaders influence people by becoming the change they want the people to be right that means when i become convicted by my ideologies it will influence your perception and it will be easy to change you that's why the more successful a man becomes the easier it becomes to influence others because his life now has sufficient testimonies are we getting blessed many of us want to see changes in our lives in 2015 hear me change will never come if you are still blaming people you and god in partnership with his word are the only requirements for that change to come if you do not allow the word of god to renew your mindset i promise you you will never get anything in your life that has not first become a reality and a deposit in your spirit is somebody hearing what i'm saying that's where it is out of this that all kinds of religions bring a lot of metaphysics and what they call 
um, astral meditation, right? So they tell you, put a picture of the, the jeep and you look at it and say, ah! They say, now see yourself in the jeep. They say, I'm driving. You see, that is madness. But I'm only trying to tell you that they stole those laws. They are an aberration, a corruption of spiritual laws. That's why whenever God wants to bless a man, God convinces you and makes sure you agree with him. If you don't agree with him, it will never happen in your life. For a long time, God kept telling Abraham, I want to change you. Abraham could not get it because of his idol worship mentality. And God said, come out. I don't know what to do. To come out. He said, start counting the stars. Abraham was counting. And he was seen. He would count and miss. God said, do it. Just continue. And his mind was acclimatizing. And Abraham said, wow. And the Bible says, finally, Abraham believed. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. When the angel appeared to Gideon, Gideon said, oh, oh, don't deceive me. The angel took time. He didn't quarrel Gideon because he knew that if Gideon did not agree with him, nothing would happen. And Gideon said, I need proof. Let the cloth be wet. Let the ground be dry. He said, no problem. If that's what it takes to adjust your mindset to authorize us, go ahead. And Gideon said, now don't be offended. Let the cloth be dry. I, I want to convince myself. When Mary said, how shall these things be? Gabriel owed her an explanation and it took time to explain. And she said, I believe. Although I've never seen how a woman gives birth without a man, but I believe. And he said, be it unto me according to your word. Instantly she got pregnant. Zechariah had seen a lot of spiritual laws. That's why when he doubted Gabriel, he said, let's shut the mouth of this man. He's going to use the next spiritual law I'm about to teach you to change what we want to do. Is somebody learning something? Hear me. This is what makes ministry easy. I never spend time just wondering how do we publicize to get crowd. Koinonia will be a reflection of the quality of both the spiritual, the intellectual, and the physical ideologies of the leaders. You change a system by changing the leaders. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of our fathers did not change themselves. They took one bottle of Gouda and slapped you when you took one cup. Did you change? You see that? Because they have become a reality for you and they are saying, if I catch you drinking, that's the day I will kill you. Go and buy me Gouda, Joe. They just finished talking to you and they said, go and buy it. Please hear me. If you want to see changes in your life, you are going to have to find out what ideologies have kept me where I am. There are some of you who never believe God can bless you. Right? As you're looking at me right now, if God even says he will give you 100,000, you say, Amen. You know that kind of unbelieving Amen. Listen, let's not make God look like a liar. This is the year of the rain. There are some of you who God wants you to walk in levels of anointing you have never seen. There are some of you who want to God wants you to walk in certain depths. But do you believe him? There is nothing God has told me that I've not believed. I don't announce things till I'm sure I've believed it. When I believe it, I don't care who believes it again. So be it. The word of the Lord will come to pass. When God told Noah, he said rain is coming. Build an ark. Do you think Noah just said, yes sir? No. Noah would have said, God, my name is Noah. Your name is Yahweh. You're, you are almighty. We are not the same. Convince me. Convince me. When Noah was convinced, after 120 years, based on X timing, he still didn't give up. We talk about Abraham who waited 25 years. What of Noah? Noah waited 120 years. I'm sure people will say, look, when we were 50 years, when I gave birth to three children, this stupid man was busy building this ark. He has been searching for gopher wood around the whole world to build. Searching for gum. Searching for a lot of things. And then when he finished, we now saw him going to the jungle looking for every kind of bed. Imagine what they would have told his wife. Say, madam, did you have to marry this man? But listen, one day, one day, he 
his confidence in God showed him. Listen, you may be tight in now. You are seeing what God is doing in your life. You are seeing the anointing of the Spirit upon your life. It may not show. The Bible says, while we look not at the things that are what? Seen. But the things that are unseen, I'm giving you a scriptural proof. It said, for the things that are seen are what? Temporal. That means there is a level of confidence and renewal that can change anything you see before you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe this? Pastor Jakes is here, he will testify. Right from when the ministry, this used to be all of us. We form a, Aaron is here. We form a circle and all just sit down on the floor. I made certain statements like a fool, right? But today, and listen, this is not even it yet. You wait and see what God will do with us. Oh, I believe Him. I believe Him absolutely. Carve upon my heart. This truth that sets me free According to your Do you know your academic situation can change? Please, I'm speaking to somebody Do you know your destiny can change? If you keep thinking we are the helpless Nigerians I guarantee you After 50 years you will celebrate Golden Jubilee suffering But I will feed nations huh? I may be rubbing granite oil as, as, as Vaseline But a day will come why we look not brothers and sisters as i look at you i don't see the weak you that's why i say as i look at you i see nations nations who told you you will not be the mother of nations i'm 30 years so what so what about 30 years would you stand and say i saw when I was 23, I know that the Lord told me I'm giving birth to a prophet and it's going to arise. That vision is still there. I am convinced. Yeah. The things that we see are subject to change. One day you are taking your bath and you see growths and tumors all around your body. You just say, hey, this is how I'm going to die. Cancer. And the devil said, not just cancer, fibroid, fibroid. Notice, do you know that many sick people may carry certain sicknesses for years and never fall sick because doctor has not told them. Now doctors, don't be, don't be sad. I'm just saying, because you did, you did not know it was not your reality. Many men were carrying prostate cancer carrying all kinds of things many ladies carrying fibroids carrying a lot of things and nothing happened to them but the day they looked and said do you know do you really know the implication of ss are you aware that the way that this has been happening you won't get a child in fact the way we are looking cat is your womb self it's not looking like the womb of a human being you just say, ah and you now start saying that means no marriage a godly brother comes and you say my brother i'm pitying you you i don't want you to suffer in this life reality i hope you are laughing and you are see i'm telling you the secret to some of these results that you see these are my contemplations those who know me know that my reality is defined i never surround myself with nonsense you don't come around me gossiping and, and gossiping and speaking because I know that I am absolutely in control. This has become the mirror to my world. This is how I see things. I only see things consistent. When I'm going for a meeting, I know there will be an outpouring of the Spirit. I don't care whether they have faith or not. I don't care whether they can believe or not. Whether they are instrumentalists to charge the atmosphere or not is irrelevant. When I step there, I know that I bring an atmosphere. I carry my own spiritual climate. Me and the Holy Spirit, a team. The workers in this ministry have received of this spirit. That's why in the afternoon they arrange chairs and they dress. Who guaranteed them that you were coming? Did you sign a form? We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. Koinonia, hear me tonight. We are only 23 or 24 days into January. 
you can sit down with this your belief system and you will celebrate Christmas in this condition or you can rise up ah but I know people who love God they have died I know people who love God things have happened brothers and sisters we are talking about you here not your neighbor the just shall live by his faith hallelujah do you believe this I read a story of somebody 109 years still alive in fact three women they were even putting makeup 109 years ah alive and strong in the midst of this wicked world they don't expect what do you expect in your life see these are powerful spiritual laws the second law give me five minutes Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 quickly please the creative power of words I know that we have been taught that words are powerful but I want to show you the spiritual dimension of words there is a reason why God called himself the word you know why God named himself the word it says and God did what and God not and God wished not and God expected not and God complained he said the earth was dark and void and formless and God the talking spirit said the word said there doesn't mean and God declared what it meant was God commanded it to be so the word said there does not just mean and God recited no God didn't recite anything say i'm healed i'm healed that's recitation you are not talking what many people have been talking in the body of christ that they are calling confession is recitation i'm telling you this Con the word confess comes from the greek word homologio it's not just repeat what you say it's you are giving an empowerment to say it i prophesied as i was commanded he said and god said let there be light and there was light and you read the verses down the line it says and God said and he saw and God said and he saw and God said and he saw listen to me words are powerful because when you speak a word it activates spiritual laws and deactivates other laws listen to me there are many laws that make realities to work the key to activating their operation is in words are you hearing what i'm saying so when you speak whether you realize it or not something is loose and something is tied it depends on what is loose and what is tied please follow me the bible says how did he put it now whatsoever you buy right do you bind just by tying a rope jesus looked at a fig tree and he didn't need to say the law of fruitfulness cease operation from this tree the law of regeneration stop i command the fertilizer don't enter the root again he just used words and activate all the laws that needed to be activated for that tree to shrink are you hearing what i'm saying so instead of learning all the laws god gives you the keys that activates them are you getting what i'm saying so when i declare and i say i am healed i release a lot of spiritual laws are you hearing what i'm saying if we stand now and i declare i say in the name of jesus the power of god will start moving in this place suddenly you hear people falling and shouting why didn't it happen now listen the words that I'm speaking are activating both the operation of angels, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Our words activate the dimension of God that is revealed in a meeting. That's why when during miracle service, the worship people sing songs that invoke that dimension. Are you getting what we're saying? If you know this, you will know that from morning till night some of you have activated woes and tragedies in your life are you hearing what i'm saying listen let's let me show you a few scriptures our time 
I've been fighting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We've been closing so late. We'll see what we can do about it. It's just the passion in my heart. Psalm 141 verse 3. Media, please help us. Let's rush so that we get up and round up. Psalms 141 verse 3. It says, set a watch, O Lord, before where? And do what? Keep a door. Knowing that every time I speak, my mouth didn't just open. A door opened in the spirit. The opening of my mouth is the opening of a door in the spirit. It says, set a watch. Oh God, this my mouth can lead me in trouble. So set a watch. Set a watch over my mouth. Numbers chapter 14 verse 28. Numbers 14 verse 28 Very quickly Everyone read Want to read 28, 28 Say unto them As truly as I live saith the Lord As ye have spoken in my ears So I will do what? As I hear you say, not wish. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord. He already called you redeemed, but he said, say it. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Let the anointing of the, the anointed of the Lord say so. They are not reminding themselves. They are activating that reality. Everybody say, when I speak, I activate realities. Say it again. When I speak, I activate spiritual laws. That's right. It depends on what law you activate. But something must be activated. When you understand this, you will know that words are expensive. Let's look at just two more verses. Proverbs 18, verse 21. If you can look at that. Proverbs 18. You can write it down. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Listen, death and life are where? Did he say death and life are on top of your head? Did he say death and life are? He says death and life are in the power, the proceeds of the tongue, and like a seed, they that love it shall eat the fruit that grows from that seed. The Bible says the seed is the word in the parable of the sower. What is the seed? Meaning every time you speak, you sow the seed. Is that true? He said the seed is the word. So when I begin to speak, even in tongues, I'm sowing, I'm activating laws in the spirit. When I begin to pray, my day is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am lifted. I'm activating spiritual laws. And I authorize the Spirit of God to begin to schedule opportunities. To schedule certain things. And you find out that after prayer, you activate laws of favor. As you are stepping out, you bump into your destiny helper. You call it coincidence. The Bible calls it life that your tongue released. That's why Job said, what I have feared most has come upon me. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Please, let's read it together. He that keepeth his mouth. Stop. How do you keep your life? Insurance. And Sammy, I'm not against insurance. Do life assurance, life insurance. But the Bible, the written word of God, the living logos. He that keep, how do you keep your life in the spirit? By keeping your mouth. Papa Hagin said this. Kenneth Copeland said this. Those guys said these things. So many people. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. He said, I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing, but I can only advise you, choose. 
he said he that keepeth his mouth keepeth what he said but he that openeth wide his lips speaking nonsense any day any time and saying it does not matter he says that he shall have what as a fruit brothers and sisters listen ladies when we are when we are about to pray in the midst of your prayer you will lay your hands on your womb and pray and say no devil no devil are you hearing what i'm saying some of you are afraid right now the rate at which ladies are scared of fibroid is alarming you are just eating too much you look at your stomach and say this this thing this is how it starts i have the power to create and i have the power to destroy the power of words is in its ability to activate spiritual laws that's what i want you to know many of us have been taught that words are powerful but what makes it powerful words are keys in the spirit they activate laws so now it's not just blind confession oh i'm rich i'm rich i'm rich i'm rich as if you are reciting a magic formula no that's madness you speak out of the abundance of knowledge that when i declare that i am blessed i am activating something you wait until we have the other series that we have there are so many things that you will learn this year two laws you have learned tonight the first one is that there are spiritual laws and that one of the laws listen is that to change your outside you change what is inside stop wasting your time whatever you don't like outside get the renewal the mind component of what you want outside bill johnson got it right when he wrote the book the supernatural power of a transformed mind i don't expect this ministry to ever go down we'll keep speaking it will keep rising i expect every one of you in this year to break on every side and whenever i pray for you that's what i pray i don't pray blindly and say lord may your will be done i know what his will is his will is not fake his spirit has revealed his will in his word i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper for i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end hallelujah rise up on your feet we are going to pray we will pray for just five minutes but i want us to take this serious because as we are praying something will be happening to you lift your voice and thank him for the word the reality of spiritual laws bless him bless him for the word don't trivialize what you have received it has changed kings it has made champions you only arise and shine when your light comes and then the glory of the lord rises upon you hallelujah three quick prayer points prayer point number one you are going to say lord let the ministry of the holy ghost be strong in my life so that you will open me up to these deep mysteries lift your voice and pray pray no matter your spiritual level even if you're just visiting for the first time pray from the depths of your heart please pray inside and in the overflow lift your voice and pray it's the year of the rain holy spirit overshadow me in a new dimension open me up to the and the depths and the dimensions hallelujah hallelujah 
prayer point number two you are going to pray and say lord whatever needs to change in my life for my the quality of my life to change let the word of god change it change my inner reality change my mindset lift your voice and cry passionately your life is at the mercy of this prayer lord i desire a new level of excellence a new level of grace a new level of possibility in my life go ahead and pray help me to believe in you help me to believe in you help me to believe in you as the healer help me to believe you are able help me to believe you are mighty change my mindset change my perception change my perception about prosperity change my perception about protection change my perception about spiritual power change my perception about my academics change my perception about my marriage change my perception about my ministry about my business about my job about my husband about my wife about my organization lift your voice and pray your life is a reflection an eventual reflection of your convictions of your perception oh it's a powerful spiritual law i pray you believe it i pray you believe it last prayer point father imprint in my spirit the revelation that my words are powerful go ahead and pray imprint in me lord i cancel every negative word that i've spoken in my life i cancel it by the blood of jesus confessions i made when i was angry i cancel it by the blood of jesus dangerous laws I activated that kill favor in my life confessions that killed my prayer life confessions that killed my my integrity lift your voice and pray koinonia outside make sure you are praying no matter how far you are no matter how far you are Connect with us in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now find a neighbor and for the next one minute, I'd like you to activate laws over that person's life. Activate favor. Activate grace. Activate hunger for spiritual things. Close every door of witchcraft close every door of failure find a serious neighbor that came to koinonia to pray lift your voice and pray i bless this house in the name of jesus i command favor upon your people i command favor i command long life I saw seeds of greatness. I saw seeds of power. I release the operation of the Holy Ghost upon lives, upon families. I command supernatural dreams. I command visions. I release encounters with the Holy Ghost encounters with the spirit of might encounters of favor encounters of power 
I command no death, no accident, no terrorism, no bomb blast, no witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I command every law that has been activated, that is being manipulated by darkness over your life to bring failure, to bring woes. I cancel it by the blood of the eternal covenant. Bless your neighbor. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Let the fountain of the heavens be open for you. Let men look for you. May they bless you. May you become the subject of discussion. I bless your academics. I change your result. I change your genotype. I command promotion to your job. Increase in your ministry. Increase in your business. Increase in your anointing. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Listen. What I'm teaching you now is the true spirit of prophecy. Many people speak, but the problem is we, do, we have not been taught what happens in the spirit when you speak. In one minute, I want to release words from your life. Listen. Now you know what happens. Listen. Demonic spirits enchantments and spells all they do is to activate laws against you that's all that happens when they enchant things the bible says in job chapter 5 that you will be delivered from the scourging tongues of men men use their tongues to tie your destiny men use their tongues to tie your womb but i come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood Lift your hands and receive this prophecy in the name that is above all names. I command opportunities. I command opportunities. I command favor in the name of the Son of the Living God. I command favor. I activate favor from the realm of the Spirit. The reign of favor. The reign of goodness. The reign of favor the reign of goodness in the name of Jesus Christ I speak against every infirmity that has challenged your body the power that spoke it into being I curse that power and I command that that infirmity leaves your body now these hands that are lifted may men bring finances to that hand i prophesy it in the name of the lord jesus that this week that is coming these hands that are lifted i tell you many of you will return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ whatever manipulates your intelligence so that you don't understand what is taught whatever tears the devil sowed among the wheat makote leke paratadikata in the name that is above all names i release you from that power now hear me anyone here who has been caused by your parents they did not know they were angry but they didn't know they activated a law that has made things to work against you i stand under this apostolic office tonight i reverse that law in the name of jesus i reverse that law in the name of jesus for everyone that costs you i bless you i bless you some of us everything works for everybody until it gets to your turn things are so hard a little thing you have to suffer in the name of jesus in this year of the rain i prophesy upon your life let supernatural ease come to your life whoever 
must call you and help you and open the door for your next level wherever they are in the name of jesus the same way wise men saw the star and they went to jesus with gifts i call them wherever they are may they come to you in the name of jesus i release upon you grace beginning from today whatever you do will prosper every enchantment that killed your prayer life so you stop speaking you stop waking up in the night to pray and orchestrate things powers were invoked to make you sleep and not wake up and pray right now i stretch my hands to the heavens and in the name of the god of heaven i command those spells broken may your prayer life resurrect in the name of jesus hear me the grace to wake up in the night and speak into the womb of the morning i release that grace upon you ladies whoever has called you weak and whoever has said you will not amount to anything in the name of the lord jesus i cancel that statement now in the name of jesus hear me whatever your life has been associated with before now sickness failure lack of spiritual fire in the name of jesus i change that situation now i change that situation now i change that situation now hear me any human agent responsible for where you are except i am not called of god in the name of jesus we release a sword of judgment we release a sword of judgment hear me i say it again that if there is any human agent that has participated in the downfall of your life your finances and your family i command judgment now i command judgment now at the brother that shared the testimony 2005 to 2015 whatever wants to tie you that when others are moving you will not move forward in the name of Jesus I release you today in the name of Jesus the Lord is telling me that he wants to visit the root of witchcraft in families pay attention to what I'm saying because the power of God will move in a mighty way there are families here hear me you love god but you do not know what is at the root of the tragedies of the families there are spirits there are covenants there are fraternities with darkness that have kept families bound it may not even be your fault you are inheriting the wickedness of men but tonight lift your hands I want to pray for you 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 as I speak over your life again the Lord is going to be ministering to families it may not have anything to do with you as a person some of you you will step into visions immediately and begin to see a lot of destruction and havoc going on father in the name of jesus i'm praying right now inside the first overflow the second overflow across the road every family that is under the influence of any satanic manipulation lord you will not only identify them they must be free at the count of three i want you to shout i am free are you ready now one two Three. All tasks. All tasks. All tasks. All tasks. 
I call you by your name and I curse you by the God of heaven I call you by your name altars in Benue state altars in Koki state altars in Kaduna state altars in the west altars in the east my goodness shekete koto kete rekete tekete rekete kota every local government every state I set fire on those altars fire 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 on those altars fire on those altars every covenant with the waters every covenant with the air every covenant with the earth every covenant of darkness tying families i declare that this is your time of jubilee i send the word of judgment i send the word of judgment hallelujah I wish the Lord can open your eyes to see the mighty things that are happening mighty things that are happening hallelujah listen something very strange will start happening here now listen listen to me because I just saw a vision like a bunch of keys it just dropped on the ground listen this, this is a sign of access in the spirit. The Lord showed me a vision and I saw in the spirit a bunch of keys. Now it's not for everybody, but I'm about to pray. Once it comes on you, except God did not call me, you will see doors open. It's called breakthrough. Lift your head. I stand under this apostolic anointing. And in the name of Jesus, every destiny that needs this breakthrough at the count of three receive it receive it take it now 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 i distribute those keys in the spirit i distribute those keys inside and outside in the name of jesus in the name of jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant breakthroughs 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 the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies listen those of you outside i want you to hear me because the holy spirit is going to do something now the lord asked me to come out hallelujah hallelujah now i want down three my goodness there is such anointing in this place and i see the angels the lord the moment you count three i'm going to start moving across this crowd and the power of god will start falling on people whatever has locked your destiny it must open it right now are you ready now those outside please believe we are not playing games father in the name of jesus may the angels move in this crowd in the name of jesus at the count of three shout at one two three receive it right now right now right now right now right now i stretch my hands as i move across let an anointing come as i pass your row as i pass your row you will stand it as i pass your row 
an anointing an anointing take it 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 now i stretch my hand take it take it this side receive it take it now 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 i stretch my hands take it now take it now everyone in this row receive it right now receive it right now take it now all those here there is an angel of the lord standing on your row take it now take it now take it now take it now just allow me pass your row as i'm coming there are angels walking with me as i'm coming the power of god will touch you right now i stretch my hands here everyone here right now take it now take it right now take it right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you call this man come this big man come what's your name come now let's hurry up what's your name the lord is saying what's your name daniel daniel from where from edo state sir. from edo state i mean are you in zaria? in zaria you are in zaria i want you to rejoice because you have entered a new level this night are you hearing what i'm saying as you celebrate them you connect to their prophecy listen because i'm seeing you in a cage this is what i see i've not started prophesying yet but i'm seeing you in a cage and i'm seeing you telling the lord i know that if i come here my situation will change in the name that is above all names i lay my hands upon you and i end that captivity right now take it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ who is grace there's someone grace around here who is grace i'm hearing that the lord is showing me someone grace who is grace please come quickly let's save time come where is your mother zango. zango is she sick my sister is sick don't worry is your mother sick she doesn't even know she's sick but she's sick i'm seeing an angel of the lord going to your house and healing two people your mother and your sister are you hearing what i'm saying your mother and your sister what do you do you're a student what do you do huh applicant job applicant do you believe that if i pray for you the lord will give you a job will you come and testify before god's people i lay my hands upon you and i release that job for you in the name of the lord jesus christ from this road down like this there are a number of ladies with abdominal pain because i'm seeing like the angel of the lord is giving something i stretch my hands right now whoever they are the power of god is coming upon them right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that pain that abdominal pain must go it must go right now in the mighty name of jesus christ let me try to walk to the first overflow in the name of jesus christ look at me you will start experiencing the power of god in your life in a very strange way are you hearing what i'm saying i lay my hands upon you right now step into a new season i want to pray for this overflow there are so many people please believe god don't think i've come outside because i want to identify with you so you don't think you are at a disadvantage no distance is no barrier some of you are enduring cold is touching my heart talk more of the heart of god are you hearing what i'm saying and some of you need to watch because what you are seeing me do is what you will be doing in some years to come so just watch it you are just receiving miracles there is an impartation joseph who is joseph here joseph i'm hearing a name joseph you are wearing like a collar like for cold who is that you are joseph the lord is going to do mighty things through you stand up there's cold so you don't enjoy yourself are you hearing me i want to stay through with god and watch god do great things in your life in the name of jesus i'm seeing two old women they are sitting on the same seat where are they here this row two mama like this where are they is there some who is that the lord is asking me to talk to them 
just leave them mama do i know you have we seen before i'm looking at you can, can they if they cannot hear we can speak any language can i talk to you mama i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of death over your head when I, don't be afraid i'm seeing the spirit of death over your head and the lord is saying if we don't pray for you that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car it's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing but the lord is saying i should pray for you the second thing is there's no finances at all everything flat is that true is that true in your life is what why you came where is your daughter do you have a daughter huh i'm seeing a lady close to you like a, a i don't know if she's a, a daughter or logical or not because i'm seeing the lord is saying that he wants to bless her with marriage you are the one okay you are the one standing close to her are you ready to marry because god is going to surprise you do you believe that huh say i receive i receive, I receive. you are not you are you are trying to uh, first lady but my dear prophecy you see a madman like this i'm only responding to god just out and see what the anointing does shout i receive as loud as i receive jesus christ i break that curse over your head mama you will not die all of you here stretch your hands to her and say mama will not die take her as your mother pray for her mama will not die in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i'm looking at this other mama i don't know what's wrong with this woman but there are three things i see the devil want to do number one eyes ah huh? But two i'm seeing her inside a coffin they have already closed it and there's blood on top of the coffin are you hearing what i'm saying? somebody use her eyes to make money with it this is what the lord is showing me i'm not a prophet of doom me don't like what i'm saying but i cannot but say what god is asking me to say are you hearing what I'm saying? i'm seeing a lady here I'm, I'm still going to come in please we're trying to work with the time um, but I'm seeing a lady here. How you know is the power of God is about to come upon you right now. One of the ladies here. This is witchcraft that has destroyed the life of your family. And the Lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow. Father, wherever she is right now, locate her. The power of God is going to come on one lady right now. It will be like fire. You can't stand it. It will come upon you. Please, when that happens, let me know that lady right now. Not just those inside. I know God is inside, but this row, this row, Father, wherever that lady is, I'm declaring right now by the anointing of the Spirit of God that she will be located so that her family can be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, your name means joy. It's a tribal name, but it has joy. It's like it. Who is that person, please? Your name means joy that's if you translate your name it has something to do with joy joy or joyful or something like that do we have someone like that please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting if if you are that cop with the protocol who is that what's that come what's your name what i means what child of joy I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in Kaduna. Is this working? Okay. Tell your mother her time lay hands on you. And I want that if you go back and see your mom, just ask her to allow you to break through. My hands upon you right now. I don't mean their English names are Joy. What's, what's your name? From where? All of you, your names are Joy. Okay, I'm going to leave. Let me talk to you. Come, my dear. Where is your family? Kaduna, I'm going to pray for you. Because that just tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. And God is saying that he's lifting them up by his grace. Father, let it end right now. Out of this family. 
right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I lay my hands on all of you I lay my hands on all of you I lay my hands upon you help her please help her so that she who is that in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit hallelujah please hold on there is a lady wearing white scarf she's on at the wall she's leaning on the wall where is that lady please bring her I'm seeing in a vision there's a lady wearing white scarf white scarf is there someone like that you are leaning on the fence white scarf who is that is there someone like that give God a praise Is that what's your name Favor. but there's nothing favorable in your life and the Lord is saying change her story do I know you that your name is favor I want to pray for you do you believe if I pray for you the Lord will grant you favor hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ I restore favor to you right now I restore favor to you by the power of the Holy Spirit come my dear this lady yes come hallelujah there is an anointing listen there is an anointing um, I promise those of you outside by the grace of God hopefully by next miracle service will try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will it will be very clear for you outside all right I know that the people did their best but you can see that the crowds are increasing praise the Lord but there was an anointing that was upon Esther. It's called the favor anointing. In the course of the meeting, I'm going to be praying for people. But the Lord is saying, I should minister this to you. Do you believe it? Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this lady and I release this grace upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, who came from Ano? I'm seeing Kano. Come. You are not alone. You are with one lady. Where are you? Huh? Two of you. Husband and wife. Come. Did you tell me you are coming? Come. She's your friend. Who is she? Who are you, my dear? You came from Kano. What do you do? I'm see I, I'm, No, you are not just a student. There's something else you are doing. Teaching. You are teaching. How about her? Witchcraft is what God is breaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend. I command that chain to leave right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I, I command that chain to go. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you I declare. You will step into a new dimension of intimacy with God. That's what you need. You have been praying. Boom fast and help him. You fasted that God will give you an anointing. It's not an anointing for ministry. It's an anointing for fellowship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Look at me. What has happened to your music ministry? That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. Huh? Do you sing? Sing something. Let's hear. My God is awesome. He will move the whole world. What has happened to your music ministry? God gave you an anointing. You have been playing games with it. Come. Because God wants to restore that fire. As soon as I pass you, I saw... I saw, I heard like music and God says restore his music ministry. There are three things that can destroy a man's ministry, any ministry. One, pride. Huh? Two, women or men or anything. Just human beings. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then number three is premature exposure. When people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record. But I'm going to pray for you. Huh? You, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong 
you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of God but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and I lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of Jesus Christ all of you here please lift your hands I want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe as I pray for you and I count three I want you to shout the name Jesus there are people here under yokes and spells as soon as you shout that name Jesus the anointing of the spirit will move through this very overflow this very overflow I wanted to leave but God is still speaking to me about this overflow please I want you to believe help them so they don't fall inside the gutter father I'm doing as you have instructed me and I prophesy right now that as they all shout the name of Jesus let the power of God visit the foundations of every family represented here are you ready now at the count of three one two three right now in the name of Jesus right now help them right now in the name of Jesus I cost that spirit 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 from your life and your destiny there is a, a man that appears to one lady here as I pray for you now fire is coming upon you you will never see that man again not in your dreams I command him go 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of Jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of Jesus the lady with the black hat tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes I release that anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ before I leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now seven people Lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the Lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is wiping your tears in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is wiping your tears let it end right now let it end now now never to return to you again never to return I stretch my hands all over this room right now right now right now right now every force of darkness never returns in the name of Jesus there is a spirit I'm dealing with I know what I'm seeing right now right now I judge you by the God of heaven right now let them go let them go let them go now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands the chain is breaking right now I stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost now I break that chain in the name of Jesus I break that chain in the name of Jesus I break that chain in the name of Jesus I restore your glory I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus please pray and ask the Lord to visit you pray and ask the Lord to visit you aha aha you must go in the name of Jesus you must go 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 
any spirit represented here you must leave right now i tell you any force of darkness tying down your life who is this mama hold on please hold on who is this mama my brother what's wrong with your marriage This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, no, no. Please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm seeing 21st October. It was to be to die and please, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you too, you have problems. But you are not even concerned about your problem. You are not concerned about what is happening to your finances. You are not concerned about the pain in your back. You keep feeling pain in your back when you wake up. As I enter here. I hear my pain just go away. The pain just went away when she came here. Look at this. Even before the meeting. From Kaduna, me and my... Hold on. Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We, my children sleep with your, with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass you in, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here. The other one is here. I finished university here and this prayer I may we do. Oh yeah, hold on. I have a ministry. <laughs> you have a ministry. My goodness. Can you imagine? I'm looking at you. What is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring. The spring. The spring. In the name that is above all names. Mama, listen. Please don't cry. The Lord is visiting you. Because this woman you see is an intercessor this woman can stay for hours praying for people who are not even her, it's none of her business as the holy spirit ministers to her you see but nothing is changing in your own life you pray for people and god will do miracles it's true. is that true the lord says i should tell you your whole life would you Amen. hallelujah please come follow me mama the lord is wiping are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is wiping your tears. Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. This boy is not your... You are calling him son, but he's not your son. Because I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing a father. Where's your father? He's dead, sir. Father is dead. And this is what the Lord... I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing father. It's like... The father is related to you. He's my elder. And so you took him as your son. That's why you are calling him son. But this boy is not your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to use you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? Mommy, you, God is wiping your tears because this finance, the thing can't just enter your hand. It will enter and go out. And we have to pray. Because the people that killed his father want to destroy you. And we have to pray. I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's gone and, but we're not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama. And it's because of the destiny of this person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you. What's wrong with him? You see, Ba? What the Lord is showing me, I'm not going to say everything here, but what the Lord is showing me, today, they will see that he has one sickness. They will do another test. Huh? They will do a scan and come out with something else. The devil is just playing, using medicine to play with your mind. This is witchcraft. They have already buried this person and this issue has finished. But in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm declaring and I'm speaking to everyone here. I stand under the anointing and I pray for you that every power that is tying down your family 
it must leave you this night in the name of Jesus it must leave you this night it must go 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 the same thing it must go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ please come madam the Lord is saying I shall anoint you come You are going to do great things for God. God is going to use you greatly. I know you may not think you are like that, but God will use you from today. I open your eyes to the realm of the spirit. You will step into unusual dimensions of grace. I activate dimensions in your spirit. Elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open. I open your eyes to visionary encounters. In the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards our mother here this woman's situation has really touched me come mama no 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 mommy please stand up stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother all the way from kaduna a woman with a ministry interceding for others this is our brother the devil wants to terminate the life of this person i like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of jesus the same power that raised christ from the dead the same power that raised Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. Mommy, will you believe if I tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight? Listen, you believe with all your heart. Have you forgotten the dream God showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people? I believe I saw it. So I remember. Did you tell me? is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people and just pray healing them and you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level two areas the issue of barrenness the issue of barrenness it will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness are you hearing what I'm saying? You will come back and testify before the people of God. This thing is being recorded. And the second area, the second area is HIV. Such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with HIV. Listen, Paul said, I desire to see you. He said that I may impart some spiritual gift. It doesn't matter the age, impartation can happen. Are you hearing what I'm saying, madam? Hold my hands. I want you to shout Jesus and watch what begins to happen to you. Go ahead. Jesus. Father, I pray from today an anointing, an anointing, a transference of grace. An ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today. An ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the Spirit in a strange way. In a strange way go and heal the sick 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 in the name of Jesus Christ come madam look at me come watch this mommy lay your hand on him and pray for him just do what I'm asking you to do lay your hands and speak to him look at me you carry this anointing and you will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness anointing is not for show brothers and sisters but I tell you it will scare you this anointing will bring wealth to you people will sow into your life because of the impact in her life come on Go, when you go back, lay this picture on your brother and pray for him. God will take him out of that hospital. And when he does, bring him here and he will come and testify to the glory of God. The Lord told me he's wiping your tears. Come, sir. What do you do? What do you do? What did you study? I'm going to pray for you. You want to further? Yes, sir. Political science. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. 
it was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Although what you studied, um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something. Federal College of Education. Federal College of Education. You study something that has to do with education. Business education. Business education. But then it's leadership. And God is taking you to that position. When you study it, he will make you a great leader. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Wait, Mr. Man. Just wait. Let me finish. I'm praying for you. Make sure when God blesses you, you never forget this woman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You never forget this woman. She has done what for you many people will not do. She has taken you as a son. She has spent her money to the last to help you. Is that true? If you forget this woman, God will not be happy with you. Let me use this as an encouragement. You see, when somebody suffers to help you and you rise, you will be a wicked person to forget that person. Some of us are like this. Some of our parents have labored to help us. Don't say, I must be a millionaire before I bless them. The day God gives you 20,000, you can take 1,000 and say, Mama, take. Some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. For what you have done, Mama, my God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. My God will visit you. In the name of Jesus. Please bring this woman for me. This one wearing this very one yes this she's she's not feeling fine something is wrong with her please let her come is god blessing you tonight who brought her please who brought her if you brought her please come with her so that we know what is What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her. Or you know her. Okay, it's your junior sister. From where? Can she hear me? Or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language? You need translation. If I talk to you, can you talk to her in the language? Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to heal her of diabetes. What tribe are you, madam? Eh? He got her pastor Alpha now. Carry Mike. What are you here? Oh, yeah, yeah, carry Mike. Because I'm trying to, let's make this easy. Give him Mike, please. Every tribe here, there must be somebody. If there's nobody who lay hands on somebody for the purpose, there's no other Mike. Okay, don't worry come pastor tell her that jesus christ is going to visit her jesus tell her Diabetes. What couldn't she do? Mama, as tell her I'm going to pray for her and the power of God will come. And me and her will run here now. I'm going to pray for her and we will not walk, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, you pray. If we do Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who down diabetes from her body. In the name of Jesus, if we do Jesus, look at what is happening to her. 
It's a spirit. Look at, are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is happening. This is an old woman. Huh? Diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Mama, tell her. Tell her. That she's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Tell her to raise her hand. Walk, come. Fast, come. Come, come. Come, come. come. Turn around. Run, run, come. Come on, give Jesus praise. Look at a miracle here. Look at a miracle. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful gala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And the Gala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David. Oh, Chonuka, Wama. Hosanna. Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, oh come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, oh come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, oh come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, oh come on, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, oh come on, Hosanna. Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, oh come, Hosanna, Hosanna, oh my David, oh John, oh come. Give Jesus a shout, a shout, a shout. This miracle remains permanent forever. How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is. But I'm seeing it's, it's something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. They, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody... Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're all, you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now, your eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back. You didn't even remember. Now your stomach is swelling. We'll deal with that one. I don't know you. I'm just just stand there. That one is, is an easy something. This come, the come. You have a problem. Come up. The devil, I, the devil wants to destroy this lady. Because if I don't pray for you, they will. I'm seeing your case getting so serious. They will now take you to India for a kidney pr transplant. What's wrong with you? Kidney nephritis. What does that mean? Inflammation, both of the How do you know it's what the doctor told me? The doctor told me I cannot lie on both sides of my kidney. You can't lie down here? Yes, and even yet, I sleep straight. You see the wickedness of the devil? That even to sleep, you can't sleep this way. You can't sleep. How else do you sleep? Lie down flat. That devil must leave you. What's your name? Precious. 
You know her, who knows her? Before you now start talking another rubbish story. Daddy, please come, sir. Our, our daddy, yes, sir. Our daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with, no. The Hold your photo like this, sir. Open it to the third one. That's what I want to talk to you about. One, okay. I'm seeing, okay, I thought it was the third one. Back, I'm seeing another photo. This thing is like it's supposed to be three. It's not two. Where is the third one? It's a two. That's the one I want to talk about. That's why I said take it to the third one. You brought two here. But the person I want to talk about, there is a third one. Who is in that photo? Henry, Henry. Henry. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you. Do you know that if 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 you can come for koinonia alone, you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive? Tell somebody koinonia and see the way demons fight. They are coming here. Flimsy excuses. They will tell you, ah, I just think I don't have this. It's because the devil knows. He knows. That's what happened to this person. And you see, today would have been his day of visitation. I looked at this and I saw three, because I'm not, you may see me looking at you physically, but I'm operating from the spirit. I saw three pictures and I said, go to the third one. You left the third one at home just like the person to come. If he agreed, the Holy Ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one see please brothers and sisters when you invite people and they refuse don't insult them you are a spiritual man you should know that is to you a sign that god wants them to be here are we together now daddy i'm going to talk to you now and i'll pray with you there's something about him but i will not tell you in public huh so that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else you hear what i'm saying I don't want it's not something where this is a public talk but it, we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening there is a spirit that converts men it doesn't happen by default we must attack it in the name of jesus christ where is this our lady come we are going to pray for this kidney both of your kidneys is verified that you have a, a kidney problem so we're going to pray lay your hands on it please can we pray for this dear one anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us don't say it's not yet my issue uh -uh. pray for her your prayer is working there's a surgery the Lord is doing in her place your hand on her I command that devil right now out out of her that spirit masquerading as kidney kidney problem in the name of Jesus Christ I command a miracle for you right now I stretch my hands I make contact by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My goodness, there's such power flowing. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. Stand up. Stand up. What couldn't you do before? Press it. Press it right now. She's even surprised that something is happening. Her and her own body. I pray that God will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
you don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed if you are not anointed you will make a ceremony out of nothing but when that anointing is not about trying to get it done if it's there is there if it's not there is not there my dear check it honestly if there's pain tell us we will not be afraid there's... God is touching another lady heal her oh God in the name of Jesus fire is coming on a lady's throat I don't know what has to do I'm about to pray for the sick but I'm seeing throat right now there is a lady like that fire is coming something will touch your throat it's like a sickness my dear I like you to shout I am healed shout it I am healed. shout it again I am healed. shout it one more time Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth and nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ, strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done. Before we continue, there's one person from protocol. That's what I see in the spirit. Protocol department. The protocol department. There's somebody that the Lord is touching right now. In protocol department, wherever you are, I really don't care where, whether inside or outside. But God is touching somebody right now. Right now in protocol department. It's like fire. It will just come on you all of a sudden. It's a sign and a wonder. It's a miracle. Please let me have those people out. There's a reason why I'm calling them out. That person from Poshri. Who is that? Protocol department. Where's the person from? Welfare. Welfare. Hallelujah. Bring three of them. It's a prophetic language. I want to tell you what God is saying through this. The first impartation is God prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons. So just like an usher brings you, it's a prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release it upon you. I release it upon you right now. Just like an usher takes you into a new level. I stand under this anointing and I prophesy, enter a new season. Enter a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. The impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies. The Lord is saying he's ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The person from the protocol, the Lord is saying, I will be your defender. Even in this season, I release that word upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone that came with a sick person, um, it's already happening to Pastor Femi but Pastor Femi and three members of Rema will come under the anointing right now three members who are members of Rema Chapel that's what I'm seeing as it's happening to him it's happening to three people three people who attend Rema Chapel three people in the name of the Lord Jesus 
a new season for you. New season for you. New season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to bring them out. Just leave them where they are. Hallelujah. We have five minutes to do this. Five minutes because there is the session where I prophesy. Please make sure we are going to try to finish fast. But make sure you receive everything. Don't come and waste your time and stay. Now all those who came with sick people apart from those who have been healed if you brought somebody sick please bring them out quickly quickly let's lay hands on them give us some worship. please quickly the Lord is healing people there's the healing anointing in this place right now God is a miracle worker God is a miracle worker. Please, quickly. No matter which of the overflows, brothers and sisters, there is multiplied grace in this house. Don't come and go back sick. You just need a touch. It's, it's just a touch. There's no need for any long story. So you don't necessarily have to be saying this what is wrong with me if i don't ask you just a touch even if you are coming here for the first time hallelujah praise the lord those of us who are out here jesus loves you that's why he wants to heal you please i want you to receive you can reject it but i want you to receive it with all your heart as i pray for you you go back check yourself because of time we may not have time to share testimony but hold on please let me say something about testimonies um it is you are robbing god of glory when god gives you healing and blessings there are so many people who god has been touching but they never return to give thanks one of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks please come your breakthrough has come yes please madam come the lord is bringing a visitation to you right now don't put her up. Just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her. And so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Ma, please look at me. God is restoring you financially, spiritually financially there is an anointing on you as i speak to you financially spiritually i'm seeing god step even into your marriage our mother is crying your marriage this is the reason why you came because there's nothing there god is stepping in to do a miracle for you to the glory of his name miracle for you who is this your mom what's wrong with her Why didn't you bring her here? Yola. Yola. Hold the picture. Just hold it. I'll use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let your healing power touch Mama. She's in Yola, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus. God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now. By the anointing of the holy spirit speed i prophesy it upon you never to be the same again and we pray for healing for mama he will testify in the name of jesus the anointing is so strong on you god is bringing restoration in your marriage god is bringing restoration in your finances god is bringing restoration in your spiritual life i command everything the devil has stolen to give way in the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe we'll be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues because immediately after this, we'll be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request please pass it so ushers you can split yourself inside and outside someone attend to those in the overflows please very quick
Thank you, Jesus. Let your power touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A glorious God. A miracle water. Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual, this is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to you? Uh, the, uh, I am, I'm just sick. I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go and do scanning. They said my spleen don't, don't be. My spleen don't be. So later on. What is that? Come now, doctor. You're already here. The spleen is an organ that reserves blood just below the ribs on the left side. I'm wondering that it's a cancer is disturbing me. Cancer? Cancer of what? For now, now, I'm still there for this hospital, for this uh, Shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I, I believe Jesus. Love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm born again, sir. You are serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that, will you smile and tell him continue and die? Is that love? So I want you to know that this thing, God has no hand in it. This is the devil. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Lay your hands on your stomach. Don't let the name cancer scare you. You understand? It is because of what you have heard, the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that is cancer. Uh, and made you feel it is destructive. There is the life of God. It's called the way. The very life of God. And I want to pray to you. You believe that? You want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die. I believe that like every other person, you have your plans and aspirations. And this is already threatening you to cut short your life. Huh? Are you married? Where's your wife? Because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now and saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus, cancer, die. In the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body, we bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus that this cancer will die and it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Hosea. Hosea. So make sure you testify in the name of Jesus Christ.
I worship forever. I worship forever. I worship forever, Lord. I worship forever. I worship forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're getting into the most important. Please, those outside, can we rise? This is a very prophetic moment. Hallelujah. This is a very, very serious moment. The requests here contain the names of loved ones. I want you to know that everyone is an evangelist this year. There is, there is need for massive salvation. The Lord spoke to me and said he's trusting that he will find the people who will bring souls this year like never before. And I told him, I said, Lord, I'm available. So make sure that from now till December, you don't come alone. We, we are on a mission. Not just to ease ourselves of the guilt of not being soul winners. It's serious business. Hallelujah. Please, those who are yet to submit the names of their loved ones that you are trusting God for them to be saved and then our requests. Very quickly, we have a few minutes. Now, we're going to do it in this order. The moment, let me make an altar call before we pray for this so we can conserve our time. There are people here. Hear me. First overflow, second overflow across the road. Listen. There are people here, probably you were invited and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he so loved you and he demonstrated that love by giving his all, his one and only begotten son. Please, by the way, I don't want you to miss the series we are starting next week. We are taking a series on the gospel. We are going to be examining who Jesus is and the message that he brought. What is the content in the gospel that really saves men so this is profound we preachers have been distracted teaching people on restoration and demons we need to get back and let people understand who jesus is what message did he bring and why is it very powerful where are we really going with all this christianity thing so it's a powerful series you don't want to miss it will be having that all through february praise the lord it will rattle the foundation of your understanding about God and will be walking in exchange hallelujah for instance let me give you a little preview um, the message of Jesus when he came his message was just one word repent that's all Jesus said repent so we're going to be checking what does it mean to repent does it mean to come and emotionally answer a, a, a poem to repeat after the man of God what, what, is the, what is the jurisdiction of that word repent hallelujah so this is very very important I'm going to make an altar call now and while the people march forward please clear the way for them we'll stretch our hands and be interceding first for souls leave the issue of your needs we're going to intercede you wrote their names you know call them by their names and say Lord we receive their salvation if you save me you can save them you don't want to watch your family members in hell and they are calling on you and saying you know me we came out from the same womb but some of them we know that they are going to hell there's no confusion about it god is a god of love we'll be learning next week but then the truth is there is hell don't let anybody deceive you there is a place called hell there are people there right now praise the lord you are here you need to make your ways right with god you've been hearing preachers talk again and again outside inside you probably are making this decision for the first time seriously in your life or you've been answering many other calls you don't even know how many and you don't know the name of what you have been doing and tonight you are saying i really want to come out and make a decision or you have even given your life to christ you are a pastor you are you know functioning in the body of christ but you know that you need a a rededication of your life Things happen around your life, discouragements, God didn't answer your prayer and he made you to derail out of the way of the Lord. Those two categories of people. I'm going to count one to five. Please, for time's sake, 
for time's sake wherever you are leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain especially for those outside one quickly god bless you god bless you don't don't fight it win that war tonight there are so many people coming from outside no matter how far don't say it's too far make your way to jesus god bless you one two keep coming please don't stop don't let your friend don't let anyone stop you this is a destiny decision you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god you know that he loves you that he allowed you come for koinonia tonight is a sign that he loves you and he has great plans for you make your way to the front very quickly while they come keep coming please stretch your hands towards this request and begin to pray in tongues please everybody pray in tongues first for the salvation forget about your prayer request please keep coming you know you need to be out here no matter how long it will take please make your way to the front no matter what you have done jesus loves you and he can give you a new beginning so make your way to the front stretch your hands and let's pray on this request all of you that are inside just stretch your hands as a point of contact those outside stretch your hands towards the screen and let's pray Shegata prata gada balada bash Mam broto koto posho to prata gada balada bash Raga da barato koso to prata gada gada balada bash Shekapa bakata balada bash Shekapa roko to posho Mante kroto skobara balash Lord we pray for every soul 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 in this place lord save them some of them are not even christians save them to the uttermost young and old we receive their salvation give them dreams give them encounters you died for them they must not go to hell you have great plans for them they need to experience the love of jesus we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls in the name of the lord jesus lord save our fathers save our mothers save our brothers our classmates our colleagues in the office in the name of jesus our families no matter how far they are from the cross bring them to meetings give them encounters holy spirit we permit your ministry in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to pray over your request. Lay your hands over your request by faith and say, Lord, I turn it into a testimony. Go ahead and pray. I turn it into a testimony. I turn it into a testimony. I turn it into a testimony. Shaka baba rakoto prosko bas. Shaka baba baba. Rekete kere bosh. Rakata barada bosh. Lekata kata barato shoto pregede gede bene de bosh. Mabra bakata rakoto shoto pregede. Father, give your people testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we bring this before your altar. Give your people manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies. In the name of Jesus, manifold testimonies. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. We pray for every soul represented here. We release angels of salvation. Wherever they are. In the name that is above all names. We authorize these angels to hunt for their souls. They will know no peace till they find the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release dreams. 
we release visions of jesus we release encounters with the world in the name of jesus everywhere they turn to they will hear the gospel they will hear it in church they will hear it in class they will hear it everywhere for those who have vowed that they will not give their life to christ lord in the name of jesus we we place their stubbornness side by side with the blood of jesus and we declare that their souls must be saved and not only saved they will be saved added to the church and established in righteousness in the name of jesus lord we pray for these requests lord right here are humanly speaking impossible situations but lord as i walk upon them they become testimonies as i walk upon them they become testimonies and lord your people will stand to testify in the presence of everyone Amen. healings and miracles and breakthroughs and salvations and restorations in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. now those of you who are making this decision for jesus christ i love you from the depth of my heart and i thank you for coming out to accept jesus christ it's a very noble decision hallelujah there's no need to feel as if you are going to hellfire. It's an exciting thing because it looks natural, but it is supernatural in every way. Lift your right hand and say this after me. I'm just guiding you, but it's, it's, it's the truth from your heart that really sets you free. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. Some of you, as you are praying, you will literally feel things leaving you as you are praying. Jesus said I am the way the truth and I am the life say after me again Lord Jesus I believe in you and I love you with all my heart I accept that I cannot help myself and I ask you tonight save me cleanse me in the name of Jesus everything in me that is not from you I command to leave me right now I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit. I'm a child of God. My goodness, I sense such heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit. Even just right here in the altar, right here, I'm sensing that there is such a strong anointing ministering to people. Ministering to people. Something is entering you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those who are getting born again, as you are getting born again, some of you are getting filled with the Holy Ghost instantly instantly because i see the power of god coming on some of you in the name of jesus say after me from today i'm a child of god the life of god is in me i will never be the same in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit may you become mighty men and women of the spirit in the name of jesus may god do great and mighty things in and through your life I really pray for you from the depth of my heart. May you never go back to the systems of this world again. May the Holy Spirit guide you. May he instruct you and teach you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you be established in righteousness. In Jesus name I pray. May God bless you. I'd like you to follow the lady waving her hands. She will have your details. And I promise that we'll send you a text and we'll follow you up. May God bless you. In Jesus name. Follow the lady very quickly hallelujah god bless you please everyone stand everyone stand i want to speak over your life now and please i want you to pay attention those outside this is when everybody gets to receive something mighty upon their lives i believe in the power of prophecy i believe in its ability to change the course of your life please let's prepare the announcement quickly so that we can take it after we have seen in this house what God has done with prophecy. When Pastor Alpha came up here, he was admonishing us and he told us, he said, you don't just believe in the Lord, but you believe in the prophets that he has proved. This is not human worship. It's an election of grace. God sends men and anoints them with apostolic and, and prophetic mantles and graces. 
because he wants to use the words through them to step into your life and destiny there will be radical change as I, pr I prophesy over your life lift your hands Jesus. inside and outside lift your hands the power of God is strong I already feel like fire on my hands I speak over your life a dimension of speed you have never seen a dimension of speed you have never seen receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside let a mantle come on you for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus I pray for you every spiritual blindness everything covering your eyes from accessing insight in the word of God you need insight your life is at the mercy of the spiritual insight you have I'm praying for you like a veil torn from a man's eyes I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I speak against the spirit of limitation that force from hell it allows you to move forward but it will say you will not cross this border in the name that is above all names I come under this anointing this night and I command whatever limit you have seen in your life I break it tonight I break that limit tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every strange dream every spiritual encounter of the night that is not orchestrated from heaven every visitation of demons they appear as animals they appear as men as women they appear as all kinds of things seeing yourself in primary school wearing all kinds of things I don't care what it is in the name that is above all names I command judgment upon those spirits now I command judgment upon those spirits now every voice that calls you forth in your sleep and programs tragedy over your destiny the bible was not it didn't leave us in darkness as to what happens when men sleep i pray whatever calls you forth in your sleep and reprograms your destiny so that you wake up into tragedies by the blood of jesus i attack those enchanters i challenge their enchantment in the name of jesus christ I pray for you prosperity like you have never seen a dimension of wealth like you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus I pray upon you the same way favor can come on a man like a mantle you can carry it you can know you are carrying help that guy please see this will come on people seriously this ministry has enjoyed a level of inexplainable favor I'm praying for you from that which has come upon this ministry let it come upon your life right now I release that favor in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive that favor receive that favor hallelujah I pray for you and Jabez was more honorable listen honor is not just age honor is a mantle God can is a distinguishing anointing that sets you apart and men not only recognize your difference but they celebrate it I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ from today an unction comes upon you a strange grace that makes men to celebrate who you are and what you carry 
believe me when i say this i pray for you inside and outside from the depth of my spirit that mantle of honor that distinguishing anointing receive it in the name of jesus i pray for your families every project that has refused to be completed i don't care what it is the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it i'm praying for you whatever has experienced stagnancy in your family i supply spirit power and i command it to start moving forward in the name of jesus christ every uncompleted project hear the word of the lord tonight i command you to be completed in the name of jesus i've said it again and again that the next level of your life is a destiny help I way listen listen i have seen in my life and i have enjoyed the strange ministry of destiny helpers brothers and sisters god does not need 20 people to change your life one correct person can just step into your life there was a man who some friends insisted he must be healed they carried him and tore somebody's zinc and brought him through those are not friends they are destiny helpers my god in the name of jesus i don't know where they are who must appear in your life between now and february but in the name that is above all names i speak to the north i speak to the south i speak to the east i speak to the west destiny help us come forth now come forth now financial help us come forth now marital help us come forth now academic help us come forth now career help us come forth now if there are no human beings to occupy that position angels must appear in human bodies and perform that role I pray for you the Lord told us this year is a year of multiplied grace and influence I want you to go back and meditate on it you already see what is happening in the house the house has entered another dimension and everybody who cares has entered that dimension I pray for you I don't know what level of grace you have been functioning in but I pray listen to what I'm about to tell you in the name of Jesus whatever dimension of grace you have seen right now I stand under this apostolic anointing I multiply that grace upon your life I multiply that grace I multiply that healing power I multiply that deliverance power I multiply that grace for favor I multiply that teaching anointing I multiply your influence where you could not have gone by now i pray by the wings of the spirit may you be carried to strange dimensions of influence where your business has not gotten to where your certificate could not have entered in the name of jesus i expand your spiritual borders and i compel influence in your life in the name of jesus christ when you open your mouth to call for help i force your words to enter the ears of an helper in the name of jesus christ i say it again koinonia that if you dare open your mouth to cry for help i declare may that word not die till it enters the ears of your helper i speak to the elements of creation I compel them to come in alignment with your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I use the earth as a point of contact every human being works on the earth I speak that anywhere the earth sees you let it compel favor for you some of you may not understand what I'm doing just believe me 
Job said, for out of the earth comes bread, I command. The bread that is buried for your destiny in the earth, I call it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the desires of your heart, but I'm praying that between now and the next miracle service, that you will come and stand before the people of God and testify to the might of God. Everything that has brought tears out of your family, I judge it right now. Every career person, listen to me. We are forcing promotion this year. Don't say it cannot happen. You will fool yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look, in the name that is above all names, the mystery of lifting, may it come upon your life. Every student here, your CGPA has ears and I want to speak to it. In the name, you had the testimony of that gentleman. He didn't even complete the testimony. He sent me the text. He was praying for 0.11 and that's exactly what he got 0.11 and it brought him to 3.50 i pray for you in the name of jesus especially for those who are just starting 100 level you will start with a mysterious gpa that will shock people i pray for those who have tried and tried but your academics is just hooking you. You have done all you know to do. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for you. I must pray for your spiritual life. Encounters that you have never had. Listen. You need encounters in your life. You need encounters. You hear people like Bishop Oyedeko mention encounters and what he transmitted in them. I pray strange encounters with the Spirit of God, with the Word of God that will launch your destiny to another dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Nothing dies in your hands. I say it again, nothing dies in your hands. Those who came from far I prophesy to you you left all and paid the price to come carry an unction that will shock all that know you in the name of Jesus Christ you will go back to your campuses you will go back to your job you will go back to your homes with a mysterious anointing that will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare that the miracles begin in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Give Jesus a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Just give me a minute or two and then we're done. Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.